Yo, what's going on, everybody? We are back for another episode of The Green Room. I am Mark G. Uh, with me, I got to my left, Laurent. Do you go by anything these days? Not right now. I'm, you I'm was, working on it. You working on it? Because yeah, you had a few nicknames they, before. Before, before I asked, well, I forgot what they was. And you had Eggsy for Eggsy. sure. Yeah, I miss not Eggsy. No okay. Man. All right. Uh, yeah, as we get back into the yeah, flow, my nicknames work. Come next up. week, come with at least one or two. I have like that. Bad, bad, bad. bad. <laughs> Then to the right of me, I got Miss Nancy Nicole, the lovely Nancy Nicole. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. This is the second week Nancy has been in the seat. Um, we gonna make it more weeks in the seat as long as she want to be in the seat. So thank you. Yeah, I think we uh, I think we got off to a good start. Uh, you know, with a lot of the topics from last week. So we want to keep it moving. We want to keep it going. Um, so we're our, we're gonna start where everybody in the world has started. Every well, at least everybody in the country. Everybody in the world probably laughing, but at least in this country, it was a big deal. I don't like to say his name, but 45, <laughs> the current president, was uh, diagnosed positive for COVID-19. Uh, him and his wife. First off, do y'all believe it? <laughs> is it true? Does he have it? Second, if he does have it, how is this going to change anything? Like, are y'all worried about the elections, all of that stuff? So who wants to... Weigh in first. Don't matter. Him start first. I knew he was gonna say. Oh yeah, because last week I had you, you starting start first. first. Okay. I don't know if I believe it. I really don't care either. Okay. Uh, he, when they when they was announcing it, so when they announced it, people was talking about yeah, it's time for him to die and all this stuff. And you know, I, I didn't like that. Right. Initially, like, that I, 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 I don't Christian? wish people. Like, I don't wish Christian beliefs. I'm That's... not a Christian. No, what are you talking about? That? I'm not even a Christian no more. What? However, yeah, yeah. You no, was a Christian no, last no. time. It was like four or five years ago. Last time. That was like four years ago. Oh, okay. Well, we'll talk about that. Yeah, we can talk about that. Nickname. Wait. (laughs) Nicknames. Religion. So. Check. We'll get back. I I just don't like to hear people wish death on other people. Gotcha. But then yesterday, it was uh, here in Ohio, it was way too many white people out here. With balls moving around in their pickup trucks, they decals, they fly. And then in that moment, I think I, I was at Walmart. I was like, nah, this nigga Trump gotta die. <laughs> he do. <laughs> and you okay he gotta with go. Him? Like he empowering too many people. Cause I got I got women in my life calling me like, what's going on out here with all these Trump things? I Trump saw Trump. you say that, like Yeah, like if you gotta worry about I can't. The people you love and they scared to move around. They can't do what they want to do right. because they scared of like and if somebody else was on my Facebook said I wanted to go out to eat up into this one place, but it was too many pickup trucks and flags. So we decided we just gonna go somewhere else. Fuck that. Yeah. That's but in that moment, that's when I was like, yeah, this Trump gotta go. He gotta go. How, by any means, however gotta happen. So he he gotta go. How you take the news? How did you take it? When I first heard that he had COVID, I thought it was a ploy, like a, you know, I didn't believe it at Mm -hmm. all. I'm like, he will do anything to make, to rig this election. I really did feel that way. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm, you know, hearing supposedly that he's at the, you know, hospitals and they're checking his levels and stuff like that. I'm like, will everybody go this far? To, he will. to <laughs> I agree. I, it's not like I don't right, disagree, right, right. but I'm like, would you really go this far? Um, you know, to say you have something that you really didn't believe that the nation had in the first place, you know. That's all, you know, I do think now he may have a little something, something. Yes. Is, is it COVID? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I, don't I mean, know. It's, it's, it's always hard to say. It's hard to say. I mean, because when he came to Ohio a few months ago and he was supposed to meet with Governor DeWine, mm-hmm. he popped up randomly with COVID right. out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. And because he, yeah. didn't, I, to me, he didn't want to meet with this guy. Mm-hmm. So he had COVID. Then the next day, they was like, oh, nah, that was just the fake COVID. Like, he good, <laughs> he good. And I'm like, all right. So with Trump, he may very well have it because what I said was is that he been going raw dog. This, That's what it- he been raw dogging like the no whole man, time, no, nope. and he's encouraging people like, and so they showed where he had some type of benefit or a fundraiser or something like that in the Rose Garden of the White House, mm-hmm. and they said that they think that that's like ground zero for all, because you know it ain't just him and Melania. Right. 
people in his cabinet. Are now Hope Hicks got it. Yeah, it's yes. all type of people. And they think that that meeting that they had, that that little fundraiser they had, is the reason why. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at the pictures, they posing, right. they hugging, mm -hmm. they doing all of this stuff. So they, he might really have it. Mm -hmm. But I don't put it past him to milk it mm -hmm. for whatever it is. ain't really exactly the picture perfect, like, bill of health either. They, it, it, you know what's so funny about this, though? It's not as funny to me. When people, when all the correspondents been talking about it, and then they it, they enlist the reasons why he should be nervous. Like he's mm -hmm. over seventy five, mm -hmm. he's this close to obese. <laughs> when I hear that, yeah, like this close to obese. When I hear that, I laugh every single time Man. because for all the reasons that he said it didn't exist, mm -hmm. it affected his. What they call that? John, not genre. What do they call that? His demographic, his, his demographic, yeah, yeah, yeah. all of his vitals, like everything that could go possibly wrong for somebody that gets COVID, he has. And see, he, this whole time, and like you said, you don't wish death on anyone. I mean, you ain't a Christian, you just told me that. But, you know, that's mainly a religious, like, as a Christian, I, you know, it's love, it's forgiveness, I don't wish death. And I'm like, I don't wish death on him, but I also am not about to be jumping up and jumping out here and be like, we need to have yeah. prayer and peace for the... No, nope. because on his watch, he's allowed over 200,000 Americans to die. And I say that because he knew what it was. He knew long before the, the public knew how bad it was. And like those tapes that they have him recorded on talking about how he didn't want to panic the American people and all of that, that is... It's such a derelict of duty, like as the president. As the president. As the pre you're the president. You're not no random He's person. You're not this just. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna stand back and stand by. Stand back and stand by. The proud boys. boys. The proud well, boys. I just really and truly like feel. Like you're saying, he's the president. You're supposed to uphold your nation and care for your nation and love your nation. But you reap what you sow. I don't care who, who you, you are. are. And so he, he's, I shouldn't say deserving, but this is what happens. Right. So if you suffer from it, you, now you should probably understand and, you know, you, you deserve it. You like, would think a normal person, though, in that situation would be like, all right, I've been fucking around this whole time, but now I got it. So now let me actually mm -hmm. embrace that and say let me help the people help but he's not gonna do that he's not he's, I, he's, himself, he is he's not, not, that's just not his they character. said that he had got the diagnosis prior to coming to ohio shut the front door he already knew and, and he's standing up there with no mask he went with to the, joe biden he went to the debate in cleveland because mike dewine was on cnn this morning and tap jake tapper was like how do you feel about him knowingly having the virus and coming to your state and possibly endangering your people and your citizens? Well, it would have been like eight people. And I mean, but no, because they said even like the governor and his wife, they was on Air Force One because he had made like this. They both was campaigning. So Biden took a train and went through like East Ohio going into Pennsylvania. Trump hit. He was in Dayton. And he like. He was moving around. So they asked the governor, like, how do you feel about that? And he, of course, because he's a supporter and he's aligned with him, was trying to dance around the question. But at the end of the day, if you knew you had it and you still decided to... Not mask up, at least have a mask on. And he was clowning Biden in the debate mm -hmm. about how he wear the mask right. everywhere. And like, oh, you always got a mask on and, you know, whatever else. So it's just carelessness. I don't think he or any of his people have a full grasp on the series. They have a grasp on it. They just don't care. I mean, because they don't have to deal with it. He raw the porn star. True. He went raw in her. So true. How so, much? I, I mean, it's true. <laughs> but Jesus. But do we really want? Okay, so let's think about this. True. If this, if this dude go, like go go, like upper like room upper go. room go. go. Yeah. If he go go. Yeah. Like the what go? No, upper not room. not if he does. But <laughs> would, would we rather that than hear him? If he beats COVID and then his the, oh, man. the actual braised the if he braised beat, break of, in, he gonna be if he beat it oh. the, what he gonna be saying <laughs> about himself he gonna be talking he's gonna be crazy so it's like so man. now we talked about him being in Cleveland for the debate and all of that 
What did y'all think of the debates? Because we all, I, I asked everybody and we all watched it, you know, what did y'all think of the debate itself? Who were any, either one of y'all can chime in. I'm gonna save mine for last, but <laughs> what did y'all think about that? I, I already, first of all, let me just go on record to saying this is my actual, this is probably sad to say, my first actual one I've ever watched. For real? Yes. So this was not a good representation <laughs> of what the debate is. But I watched it because I already knew what to expect right. because from 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 him from the the forty fifth. Right. Okay. So from um, vice former Vice President Biden, I knew he was going to have some type of decorum about himself. But mm -hmm. from the forty fifth. So I watched it because I know it's going to be entertained with the, the buffoonery. Yeah, yeah. I already knew. Mm -hmm. But it, in, in watching it, it I was so frustrated because I don't see how these Republicans and anybody else who supports Trump can sit here and be OK with how this man acts. Like, it's so frustrating to yeah. me. Like, that's not how I don't yeah. like you should not want the leader of your nation mm -hmm. to get up there and talk like he's probably. He's a child. That's what it he's is. A he's a child. He's a child because all. He's ignorant. So, all right. Now, how you just mentioned, like, decorum and how we knew Biden would be up there. The crazy thing was that when the, the debate was over and the next day you had everybody's responses to it. I literally saw people like, well. Even Biden calling him a clown and telling him to shut up. That's not presidential. Look, if you in a situation like that and a cat is constantly over talking you, they talking crazy about your family. You have to take all of that out of it and say, how would I personally react to this? There's no way I would let Trump get that off on. Like, <laughs> y'all could call me what y'all want. Y'all could say, oh, you wasn't presidential. Nah, we're not. He's an anomaly. We've never seen anything like this in American exactly. politics, ever. This dude is, he has no idea on how the government works. He has a limited education. On, and that's kind of why he got in there and why they voted for him, because it was like, oh, drain the swamp and mm -hmm. we need a businessman that's to run. That's what's business Yeah. He needs to understand that if he's going to be the president, like you said, not only of this nation, but as the president of the United States, by default, you end up being the leader of, of the, the free world. world. Mm -hmm. That's what they say, mm -hmm. because we are supposed to be at the forefront right. of the world. Mm -hmm. He's a liability. And yes, other countries are looking at it as like, like y'all's yeah. stupid. <laughs> um, I never looked at I never once when a debate came on was like, yes, I'm about to learn some shit. <laughs> it never crossed my mind. I only tuned in to watch Trump. the chaos. Yeah, you know I, wanted, I, I, I wanted the train wreck. I like watching train wrecks. And I, I knew it was going to come from him. Now, as far as buying and the clown stuff, I wasn't, ex I, I was expecting him to say stuff to him in right. response. Right. But when he was doing it, it, you could tell Trump had hit what Trump's plan was, was to frustrate. Mm -hmm. To frustrate. Aggravate him, yeah. agitate him. And it was just sad watching <laughs> uh, Biden. I got the president. <laughs> <laughs> it was sad watching Biden do that. Like it was just, I was like, Biden though. No, when he honest. hit him with the "Will you shut up, man?" I I'm knew like, oh, he's fed up. up. It was up. He's but fed still, he's up. fed up. But still, I still, in my opinion, even though they said that's not presidential, come right. on for real, he still did it in some type of form of, you know, yeah. the the corner. Yeah, 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 like, oh, you shut <laughs> up. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. you was a clown. Yeah, like, yeah, it works. It, that's what I'm saying. He still tried. I didn't, have, I didn't hear old man Joe say some old, like, so malarkey and take you to the back of the shed. And <laughs> what they were saying was with Joe is that they knew that he would have to get a couple of those off, off. because Trump was going to be so like this. But what they wanted him to do was, was like, all right, dismiss his bullshit and pivot to an actual... Because he kept doing that. Yeah, that's how... That this is not about me, and this is not exactly. about his family, this is about your family. That's the... And, and, and moving forward for any other debate, that has to be the strategy for Biden, is that, yo... It's going to keep doing that, because Trump's not going to change. I'm going to deflect off of the nonsense, and then I'm going to bring up an actual point. But that's where we're point. at now, is we're on something on that platform, like the debate. We're not there to hear Biden. Right. 
Yeah. No, we're not there to hear by and support by it. We are here for Trump. Ratings wise. This is what we're here. This country has come to. We are here to hear him get but those yeah, hold, jokes on. At the food. But OK, so before you change the subject, Marcus, no. who do you feel won the debate? Uh, I don't think there was a winner. Biden won the debate. And I'm going to tell you why Biden won the debate. And see, people have to remove their personal feelings. People have to remove their political affiliations. You have to start looking at stuff on a very basic level. Like, if we were in a setting and somebody kept popping off when they were not supposed to, they would be disqualified. You would have to go sit down. Your time is up. Your turn is over. Yeah. You would have to go sit. So when people saying, oh, Biden's engaging with him and now he looks the, the cause I kept seeing that next day was, oh, I can't believe how both of them did this and both of them did that. And I'm like, but I don't think both of them did. Uh, no, I'm his was a reaction, reaction to, yeah. an to action. See, I'm not saying that, the, the, that I agree with you hundred percent, but when they, when they say a winner, I wasn't expecting Trump to come in there and compete. Like it was not going, it gotcha. wasn't about to be a winner of anything. This wasn't even a competition. This was just, Trump ain't have shit else to do. <laughs> he, he, he did, he had his schedules open. He was like, yeah, I'll pull up. He pulled up, did everything he was set out to do. They had, CNN had a fact checker after the debate was over. I watched that. Everything that the fact checker said, he was like, Wait, what did he say? No, that's just not true. Yeah. And then he'd go into why it's not true. And you just have to sit there and laugh because the scary part is that Trump could lie for a whole, a whole debate and his base, his base they eat it. Up. They win it. It's like, yeah, like, nah, y'all trying to play him. Y'all don't want him here. Y'all want to get him out of here. Y'all discredit him. Because that's all he did the whole time was, I'm the victim. I'm the victim. Mm -hmm. I'm the dude. You're the president. Big time. But they knew that already. already. A lot of these Republicans, and I say this all the time, I don't know how this election going to go, but a lot of these Republicans, because when he was running in 16 and he went through the primaries and he had to go against Jeb Bush and Rubio and Ted Cruz, he talked about all of them so ridiculous. Like they wives, they wives, oh, they they kids. Like he went through all of that. He wins the nomination and then they just all fell in line and was just like, well, Never mind what he said about Trump. Me. No, I don't want to say it's cool. People say he a gangster. I hate that, that they say he a gangster. Trump just don't know no better. He literally just don't know no and he better. Don't care. And don't he don't care. So okay, so just kind of getting off the debate real quick. We are all we've been around long enough to see the Trump effect prior to this now. Trump used to get a lot of like love, love from the black from community. us. Yeah. From rappers. When from he, when he was really a corporate business, when he was handling Why business. y'all think that is though? What was because it about? Money. He was money. selling. Everything he was selling was to, not to our community, but he, I think he understands, he understands buying power. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely think he, I know he understands that. Like he has to understand the buying power, especially cultures and the black community and what they will spend their money on, right. what they will invest in. I think he understood that, which is why the black community. he knew like, I'm about to get, I, I, I got products and I, they're gonna buy. But I think that that now, as he's transitioned into politics and being a president, when he says that like, you know, I got a lot of love from the black community. I've done the most for the black community <laughs> and all of that stuff. I think he really believes it. Like, I'm almost certain he believes it. He believes everything he's in. And a lot of it is based on, when he talks about relationships, is based on the fact that he was embraced early on. Like, when the early, mid, late 90s. And you know why? He was like, Trump is a huge... The question, you initial question you asked about that, you can go to a time period in rap music and his, the way he was flossing, oh. rappers, Jay-Z, Tupac, whoever... They looked at him as He's a like the Bill Bible. Gates. Exactly. I thought about this the other day this and I was like, sense. if we was to go back and have somebody check and say how many times he was referenced in, in rap, mm -hmm. yeah, it would be insane. Yeah. And I think he really believes. He, he was a symbol of, he was, a, he was not the, he was a, a symbol, symbol of prosperity for black people. When they see, when you see, well, black people don't know, not gonna say black people don't know, a lot of black people, especially in inner city, when they hear money, they think Bill Gates, mm -hmm. they think um, 
Steve Jobs. It's a like certain. Those. Yeah. Trump was that in the right. 90s. He was that symbol. Exactly. I mean, old girl from. He got uh, the Playboy Mansion, mm -hmm. kicking it, chilling. What's like, her name? From the Housewives. Nene. Mm -hmm. From the Housewives of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. When she went and did Celebrity Apprentice, mm -hmm. she wasn't afraid to kept. She kept dropping life. I don't know what these little girls is doing. I'm getting these Trump checks. Mm -hmm. I'm getting these Trump checks. Mm -hmm. So I think he now truly believes, nah, the black niggas is fucking with me. Yeah. They fuck with me. Like you heard me in the rap songs. They fucking with me. So I don't understand yeah. all of this backlash yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> That's all Chica. 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 <laughs> He mentioned. He's a good guy, Chica. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I just think that he has to, when you talk about winning and losing the debate, like y'all said, maybe nobody really necessarily won, but there are a core group of voters, especially the older ones, who might be conservative, but they on the fence and they don't really fuck with him like that. They do want to hear, what are your actual, what right, you they're not gonna what's your platform? They're not going to be able to, though. They're not going to be able to hear that. Not from him. So last question on this. We are about damn near 30 days out mm -hmm. from the election. What's happening in November? I don't mm -hmm. know. Who gonna win? I'm scared that the 45th is going to do it again. You think you're gonna do it again? I don't I think, think, I think I was more scared last year than I am this year. I kind of feel like, I think that what's, going, what's ultimately gonna happen is this nigga's gonna get voted out and he's I, not gonna leave. Please. Oh. Please, I pray that's the case, but just from the reactions of what we've seen in our city this past weekend, yeah. that's just here. So it's imagine everywhere. what's going on everywhere. all across yeah. the nation. And then, I mean, and it's just sad, like I'll be driving home, even when I was in Atlanta, and it's just all these signs are just everywhere, and it's just Trump, 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 Trump. And I just be like, what are you people doing? But I, I'm very scared. That's not what I want to happen. Right. It's not. Yeah. But I feel like it's going to happen because... And I'm scared for my kid. I'm scared for everybody. Mm -hmm. But I really and truly think that they they're in awe of this this man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what he, and they really I don't know what it can. Y'all tell me what he's done for our country. Like so, I, I don't know. So. A, so this is and this is just my personal opinion. There are certain things that happened in his four years where he piggybacked a lot off of the previous administration and what they had accomplished. Like when he, before COVID, he would constantly tout like, you know, low economy, unemployment, unemployment rate, unemployment rate for African-Americans and all of that. But he was able to build on that off the back of what had been done uh -huh. in the previous administration. Mm -hmm. So I never really took that as like, this is all his doing. Mm -hmm. He did have something in place as far as the uh, mandatory minimums that had been done in the 90s with Clinton and Biden being in the Senate and all of that with drug charges and all of that. Mm -hmm. So there were people that were able to come home. Mm -hmm. There's now moving forward, there will be, you know, they won't judge. Cause it used to be that whole discrepancy between Coke mm -hmm. and powder form mm -hmm. and crack, you know? Mm -hmm. So he did do some stuff on that, but that's just, that's surface level yeah, shit. He, that's not. I'm not gonna say he hasn't done anything for anybody that, or anything of substance. I'm not gonna say he but, has done some things of substance, but the bullshit outweighs. And that's where I get concerned with people. And like you're talking about the parade and all of the stuff that we saw, you have to be able to separate yourself from policy and what you're doing as a politician and the overall view of the country. He's making it so contentious it's so much hate it's this beef it's this internal like i walk outside sometimes and i feel a way like you just feel energy coming off these people and it's because of him mm -hmm. it's because he's allowed them to be he's uh, he's, in, he's, he, emboldened he's emboldened them, them to, to get out there and really you know talk a certain way um like that whole stand <laughs> stand stand back and stand by that he said in the debate talking about these proud boys which Prior to that debate, I had never heard of a proud boy. That's exactly never what I said. Was. I'm like, am I no. crazy? Because no. I've never heard of a proud boy never until, heard of that was until until the debate. Until the, never heard of. Him. So I, I didn't even it was hear. Just me. I didn't even hear that part of the debate. Man, I don't know what I was doing, but he that question him. for the white, white supremacy. Yeah, he did, to denounce it. I never. I didn't even watch see that part yeah. of the debate. I don't know what I was doing. I he was like, he's like, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? 
dude was like, I want you to this denounce white yeah. supremacy. Mm -hmm. He was like, Proud Boys, stand back and stand by. And yeah. it's like, I'm like, who is the Proud? Who and is that? They immediately was trending on all social media platforms. I seen they was making shirts. They Man, said, look, stand back and stand by. Some dude in Ohio, I don't know what part of Ohio, we might need to figure out where he is, but he put a video up and was like, We've already um, coordinated with each other. We're prepared for November. If Trump wins, then y'all know what time it is. If Biden wins, we are not taking it lying down and it's gonna be some shit. This is essentially what he said. It's gonna be video. a purge out. It's gonna be a purge out in them streets. It, it, we coming not, close Trump's to a not purge, winning. man. Yeah, Trump's not winning. This is the closest we've come to I don't a purge. Think, I don't see him leaving though. Well, he's he going, said he's it. Going to lose, and he's like he said, said in the debate, like, look, if I lose, I'm questioning these ballots. Because I think he knows he's going to lose. He's already saying that mail-in ballots are unreliable. Mm -hmm. That uh, it takes too long to count them. Uh, so you know, so he don't want people mail no, no mail-in no. ballots. No, he he's doesn't. saying that people are at the polls actually poll watchers. Cheap, poll watchers. Yeah, he wants poll them watchers. To, so how does he want this whole thing to happen? Then? Look, if it gets too close on election night, and let's say Biden's up by a percentage or two, usually the other candidate concedes. Right? They call and they say, "You up? I know what time it is. We done." He ain't gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. I wonder why they don't just make like an app. Where you can register your phone number to the app and you can just vote. We're we getting there. We're getting there. They, they're they just so scared because we stuck in the old way. But technology has brought us to a place where yeah, we, we could really easily, don't have to move. You could easily house. do it. Yeah, but they would be like, but then people don't got some people don't got cell phones. Yeah, you know, I mean, but you should always have the ability to go to the polls. Yeah. Like you would never close the polls. Now, if you have to physically go and walk yeah. to your poll right. and drive to your poll, you do it. But if I can do it from the comfort of my smart device, yeah, why wouldn't I be able to? Do I vote for America on American Idol from the crib. I should be an American vote. Idol. Yeah. Or the <laughs> voice. I should I be the voice. Do that for the voice. I fuck with the voice. I don't I fuck with American Idol. I don't like anymore. American Idol. Still? Yeah. Who I actually like it more than The Voice. Who even on there? I don't know the name. <laughs> but the, but the, yeah, but the, song, the, song, the artists are just the artists. You like the quality of the artists? Why are we comparing? <laughs> That's what this <laughs> is. The so presidential American election. Vote. That's what this is. That's <laughs> the American idol. That's, this is, this is what it's about. I mean, I... Understand, but I'm kind of that's still kind of leery because to do it from your phone or yeah, something like that. I'm still kind of leery. I'm not saying not to because, but yeah. you're talking about a vocal singer compared to the actual leader of the nation. Right. I'm yeah. kind of skeptical it's about that. It's different to place your vote for somebody who's gonna just be dropping some tracks, but versus still, somebody who's running the. the you still the at the polls. Really, and truly, what's the difference? If I, you really want to be that's real. If so, you doing a poll vote, what's gonna be the difference? I think of we, your phone? we pick. We pick and choose when things work and when they when don't. When they work. don't, because mm -hmm. technology has advanced so much that it, there's a million things we do. That's true. We do a million things that 20 years ago you would have never thought you should be able to do Dude, yeah. from a phone or from a whatever. That's but for true. voting, they'd be like, Nah, nah, I can't do that. Um, now, not well. I don't even, American Idol do it come on. Still, yes, it still, still comes on. They both come on. They both come on the voice. And they, they come Idol. on at the same time on the same day. I was never mind. We'll get to that later. I was, I was getting ready to go on a tangent about I'm something surprised. completely different. Um, <laughs> what you later, know about this? Um, <laughs> I see. I was gonna go into a tangent about the mass singer and some other stuff, but we'll go back to that. Okay. I was watching that. I fuck with it. Anyway, no, 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 man. You know I the music check the side, bang. You know I always the watch. season. I seen it. Yeah. See, we get out of order. Yeah, we come yeah. back. But we're talking about TV, though. We're yes. talking about TV. Um, so on the last episode, we talked about, you actually said you was getting ready to start watching, what, P-Valley uh -huh. and Power. Yes. Have you started? And you should be proud of me because since our last meeting last Sunday, <laughs> I have completed both. Oh, you caught yes, up. I, I oh, have caught, caught up. up. What about you, Leroy? I didn't say I was watching that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out on P Valley. I'm good. <laughs> now, Power, I haven't. I actually just ordered stars today. Okay. okay. So I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch up on Power. So you all caught up. I am caught right. up. I am so proud. You have no plans on really watching P Valley that's, at all. That's oh, gone. No, no, you I want should you watch, watch it so bad. You should. You should because so far I expected I thought it was gonna be a lot more. Now it is some couple, it is a couple little scenes, but it's not each show. I mean, it's not each episode, and it's not. 
Only thing you, you know, the main character of Uncle the, Cliff. Of, of the, he is you know, flamboyant, but he's not. At least this season, getting it off. Oh, with, it's gonna get worse. Uncle Cliff. I'm not saying it isn't. Uncle Cliff. But I, will, I just really would love for you to watch it so you can have your own opinion, not his opinion, not, not my, my opinion. opinion. Not I'm okay. I don't have. I don't need an opinion. <laughs> it's not. It's not as bad as people think it you is. You need to find out what's going on down in Chuckalisa with the motherfucking <laughs> casinos. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know. I know. You know. know. He don't casino. know. Yeah. You got to find out what's going on with the motherfucking casino down in Chuck and Lisa. So I'm going to task this, you. What is that on? I, that on Star? That's Keith, that, yeah, it's on Star. That's the, Just watch it, bro. That's the name of the city that they live in. He's going to He going to watch it. He going he to watch it. He going to watch it. Come on. It. Now, Power, mm -hmm. I saw. I haven't watched the one that came out. I guess it'll premiere tonight yeah, on Sunday. Yeah, but it's on demand. But the episode before, mm -hmm. all it take, it come out on Sunday. By Monday, everybody You're saying talking something about it. it, spoiling. So we talked about this last week, mm -hmm. uh, and we just kind of talked about television in general. Like we actually had a conversation before I think we started um, recording about uh, that movie about the cuties. little girls, cuties, and all that. So this was another one that I saw this past week, and they said that. Uh, Power has now turned into empire. <laughs> um, that power, P Valley, uh, I forgot what other show they said, but that essentially. Was it the shot? Yeah, it was the shot. It was the shot. Which oh, y'all watched the shot? I have seen like the, the first side. two seasons, but no, first season and a half of the second, but I didn't. I haven't. Well, they had a storyline this season with a um, guy who was dating. I don't even really know. Like, I don't, I'd be so hesitant to know say, pronouns. yeah, pronouns and all of that. So you don't want to say just tranny or nothing like that? No, I can't say that. You can't, I don't even think that. What did you just say? I don't even think we can say that. I mean. What did you just say? Tranny. Oh, no, don't say that. I don't know if. <laughs> no. Yeah, you can't say No, don't say that. I don't think just you say, can say that. Right. You can say Trans person. Um, but no, so in the shot, there's a character that is trans. And she identifies as a woman, mm -hmm. but was born a man, mm -hmm. but has a relationship with a dude, like one of a thug, thugged out ass nigga in the hood in Chicago. So people had a problem with that, but we're bringing it up because they're saying that there's, a, and I'm putting this in quotations, an agenda mm -hmm. to control specifically black people, black men. Um, there's this gay agenda, there's this L. Uh, GBTQ agenda to put all of this stuff on TV. Um, Power had a scene in the last episode that was two guys. Mm -hmm. And so people instantly just like went crazy about it and you know, whatever. So, you know, in the group chat that we got, I put it in there and I just wanted to know what do y'all do you think there is an agenda? And if you think that, why do you think there's an agenda? And I hadn't heard about there being an agenda. Yeah, it's like it's supposed to be to emasculate the black man. Like anytime you put a black man specifically on TV mm -hmm. and have him, you know, in a relationship with another man or cross dressing or identifying as trans, that they're trying to emasculate the black man um, to set us back. This is what I well, see. Well, I think that's been the beginning of time since we've been on television. They've been trying to emasculate the black person, whether it be female or male. Period. Now, mm -hmm. I understand what you're saying. Right. As far as like emasculating the, the man, um, as far as like being a man, you know, they never really want the black man to be, because y'all know and we know that the black man is the strongest man and the Facts. greatest man that's. You better talk. Facts. Yes, y'all are. That goes so, without saying. Big yes, facts. Yes, y'all are. Big facts. So, um, and they, they're scared of that. Mm -hmm. So, anything to bring down the level of superiority that you men carry. They're going to try to do that, and that what that's what's hurtful to me is that that most of our black writers, even though this happens in our our community, right. and I think that's the only reason why they're only reason why they're doing it is so you can see that it's acceptable. But the what's hurtful is that don't don't as black writers keep doing that because you're doing what the Hollywood or mm -hmm. whoever. Wants y'all, wants you know them to do. 
So yes, I, I didn't know there was so so called an agenda, but I, I it is hurtful because you guys, whoever is that way, I'm not I'm not I'm not God, so I, I can't judge you. And I love you regardless if you are or if you're not, whether you're a man or a woman. So but I just would like for us, because you know, every time when we was on the movies, we had to be slaves, you know, mm -hmm. and y'all y'all was emasculated on your den, you know, mm -hmm. getting whipped by the white man and so on and so forth. And now it's turned to the gay. Yeah. You know, you have to be gay to like you said, to be a, a masculine. So yeah, I, I kinda, kinda see that. See, I kinda see that happening. What you yeah. think now you just were saying you not watching P Valley based off of what you had already heard about some of the stuff going on. So what do you think? I'm a part of the uh, L what is it? L G B T Q LGBTQ community. Plus, after that, I ain't sure. There's a whole lot of letters yeah. after that. H Y K. So, I'm a part of that community. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I have a stepchild. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a transparent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm deeply sensitive. Why are you not? Okay. You're no, a transparent. No, I'm a transparent. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm her her daddy. Right. Sometimes I feel like a father. Okay. So let's hear it. Let me stop playing. Okay, so with this, th this is my thing with with this. Like, I'm not I I don't watch I don't want to watch P Valley because of Okay. All the th the things I hear about. Uh -huh. But that's, it's not like a discomfort thing. It's just like, I guess it might be like some type of like training I've gotten from mm -hmm. growing up. Right. But these people th that are writing these characters mm -hmm. into these stories, they're writing them because there are people in these communities Absolutely. that live them. Absolutely. So, and that's where representation comes in. Black, pe black people, a lot of black people in the homes that they've been raised in have been raised to to think that that lifestyle is is a taboo. Is that the word? Definitely taboo. So it's not something that wrong taboo. Yeah. yeah. So it's something that we don't we don't, we don't speak on. Yeah. If your little cousin switching, he got a bum knee or he jump a rope, he <laughs> something wrong like his ankle sprain. There's so many different your uncle, your uncle. That's your gay uncle. He he, he just. Right. Different. Right, 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 right. All, we always try to cover, cover up that up. thing instead yeah. of just realizing that some of these people need these voices to feel like they it's are okay. represented. Because if they're not represented on Power or P-Valley or Empire, when they're out in the streets, people look at them weird still. Yeah. But when, they, when, when other people who haven't been exposed to that lifestyle see that on TV, it makes it more, not calm, not calm, but relatable, where they can look at somebody like, oh yeah, he gay, but. There's a level of empowerment that comes with being able to see a reflection of yourself. Yeah. Out and, there. But that's why the emasculate word, I don't like anymore. Because I don't think, it, emasculating the black man in that way would have been valid. 25 years ago. Okay. Now, there are black men who are either killing themselves because they can't share their truth or they struggling like, or some of them might even become pedophiles or whatever the case because they bury in some shit that they can't get out because of the way society has made them feel that they, what they need to be. So I don't know if I like the word emasculating. I, I get it because in my mind, it's why, I can't even say that is the reason why, because I watch Power, I watch Empire. Right. So P Valley just sound like it's over the top for me. You can watch it then. If you I, don't think, I don't I think mean, that they're, Empire. but that might also, like I said, it might be how I, my, my right. mind, how it works because of what I was taught growing up. Of course. I mean, we, and see, this is the thing. And when you get on social media now, this is my beef with social media is that it's an all or nothing type thing. Right. It's a, I'm on this side or I'm on that side. I, I'm not really a part of that community too. I just, that was a joke. I just I, needed to make sure I, I put that out there. There's a, there's this thing where I'm either on this side or I'm on that side and there's no room for no gray area mm -hmm. or nuance. Everybody's extreme on topics. And that is my biggest thing because if I was to post and say, yo, that was a bit much for me. I didn't really want to see this dude and that dude. They would instantly be like, yo, you're being homophobic or you're, you know, whatever the case may be. And I think that 
Me personally, I'm at this point now where it is what it is when it comes to representation. I want everybody right. to be represented. I don't want anybody to feel like because they don't see themselves that they but that's out. the thing though with black people, they gotta they want not a lot. I'm not I don't like saying black people because I don't like generalizing, but the black most of the black community, they want I don't even know if they want it, but they alienate that community when there's a community that alienates us mm -hmm. from oh, the yeah. same opportunity. So I you can't I that's why I don't understand how we can be so against the uh, whatever the alphabet board people. Comp there we can't be against them like that because people <laughs> be against us like that. Well, so we should be able to understand that plan. Now I'm not ranking right, 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 but that against our plight. You understand what it's like to be like you're being left out or you know, there's this whole area of America that's not being Treat it the right way. That's not because all in all for me, I'll watch whatever. I'm not sure. Like, yeah, if the same, I'm watching something that gets too intense. All right, you I'm know cool. how to, I ain't, I but I'm not going to disown the whole show and the content of it because I think the content of it is important. Um, a lot of people just dismiss it like, oh, they quote unquote on that gay shit. Like, I'm just that that's what people say. And I'll see people that I grew up with and I came up with and I just be like, yo, like, yeah, I was told it was like a trans, like, uh, strip club. Nah, no. so it's that's a normal strip club. The show. So I was told that it was no, a bunch of transsexuals in there no. stripping, man. That's why you need to watch the show. <laughs> yes. What? It's not yeah, like, man, that's no. what I was told. Like, no. the storyline and everything. So why you sitting here, like, not capping for it, but uh, not capping for it? Yeah, that's nice. Why you sitting here telling me about this trans strip club? So you feel like I'm, I'm like, like I'm oh, telling you, like, like, what's up? like no. I mean, that's the type of it's a regular strip, strip club, club. Uh -huh. and you have characters in there that are dealing with domestic violence, mm -hmm. with you know, moving on and trying so to transition like from the players club. Yes, actually, yeah. Yes. I mean, you got these. A, a strip club is always going to have its cast of characters, mm -hmm. right? and this ain't no different. It just so happens that they expanded out into having. But this is another thing too. I'm I I've been to maybe two strip clubs in my life. Okay. One of them was with Trill Youngstown Cats. Oh, so, yeah? yeah, yeah. It wasn't even that. That wasn't even. Nah, that wasn't even. Oh, that one. I don't know about that. But, was it in Youngstown? No, it was here at the Red Zone. They had uh, I was for there. Key, Key, I was for Key, Key yeah, I was there. I was, yeah. Good time. But, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> but I, I, I don't get. Good I, time. I'm not like. Uh, that's not my scene. I, I, it's not something I'm even interested in. Like if somebody You're not like, interested in I'm trips? not inter not at all. Oh. I have no interest in interest. Like porn, none of this. I just don't get into this. Mm. So, Trippers so I porn. can't sit and no, I can't do it. Mm. So when I see, so when oh, I hear nice people. Nice to hear. So when Is I hear people. <laughs> That's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> yeah, well, when I hear Valley, nice when I hear it, I like I, that's not the type of entertainment. I'm not saying nothing wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying, I don't. It's uncommon. It's a lot of men. Yeah, you don't hear a lot of guys that's saying, what I'm saying yeah. that. It's not that I don't like strippers. I don't appreciate your craft or your art or whatever y'all call it. But that's just it. not your scene. But it's just not my scene. I, I can't go in there and enjoy myself. He's lying, and that's fine. If you get fine, he's lying. I had another man. If you that's can find, if anybody watching this that knows me, that been out with me, if you can tell me three times, three different people that you've been to a strip club with me, please at me. <laughs> with three different times. All right, so. I, I don't know. Right, I've been so, like twice, and I don't know. All right, know. I just, so. All right, Laron the Angel. You don't like strippers. <laughs> I didn't say that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't say I don't, don't like, like strippers. strippers. I said I don't like strippers. You don't like porn. Okay, I don't cool. watch porn. All right, you don't watch it. Yeah. But I you don't. like it? But you no, don't I don't watch, watch it. it. So I don't, I'm it's not that I like, it's not like I, I like it or dislike it. Get to it. your I point. Watch it. Get to your point. But you I'm, don't watch it. You don't like it. I, but my point is yeah. that the P Valley, that's the reason why I haven't been able to dive into you're not Because that right. culture is not gotcha. like something I'm into. So it's gotcha. not, it didn't even grab me. Now, I can't even think of a, a situation, like a different storyline. But there, this is not my thing. But my frustration is, because I like, like I have, like I said a few seconds ago, I have nothing against the community, whoever they are. Right. I'm not your judge. I love you regardless. I have them in my family as well. From the immediate to, you know, on going down. on down. And I love them regardless. So I have an issue with 
every show doesn't have to have it. True. Gotcha. Especially every black show. We in like you I know, think that's what it that's is. My problem. That might be like, what it is. It's the overload it's the, of like, it it's in like you're just our doing culture. Too much. Like it's like in every single show. Every, you don't have to, have to but we know yeah. we love you. So I accept you, but not every show. So let me let me push back. Mm -hmm. Let me push back on y'all with that notion that it's on every show. There's heterosexual yes. sex scenes in every show too. I, I'm fine with that. So somebody well, would tell. No. So, so I, I'm not so, saying it like that. Oh wait, no, because no, most no, most seeing, most people ahead. would say they would say if this is my truth <laughs> and saying. this is somebody else's truth. Then why can't my truth be depicted on TV I'm not, like they truth is depicted? That's not what I'm saying. Oh, okay. That, that's I didn't mean to say it like that. What I'm saying, regardless, every show doesn't have to have those types of scenes. I don't care if it's heterosexual or man on man, woman on right, women. Right, right. But I think it's kind of harder to watch men on men than it is woman on woman. Kinda. Women. It is. That's what. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, that's like when I, it, oh, man, well, I'm just saying from here? a woman's perspective. I know it is for a general, a gentleman's perspective, but from a woman's uh, perspective, it's really hard for me. I'm speaking for myself to watch two men, especially two black no men, go at another But see, like, I think that that comes from your personal preference of what you like as an individual. I am a heterosexual male, so mm -hmm. if I see. Uh, two homeless, two hard legs. I, I'm cool on that. I don't want to see that two because women. I'm not attracted to that. Two women. But if it was two women, then it's double the fun. Yes, yes, I, I, I'm, I'm here think. for that. Yeah, so, yeah. so I don't. But I, I think it. I think we're finding ourselves, especially as Black people, right? Because historically, we are supposed to be homophobic as a people, like overall, like that's the knock on Black people. So now you have in 2020, it's like this splinter where you have a separation of. I guess people who think they may be more progressive as black people, and then they turn around and be like, yo, I still got cousins in this and the third that don't mess with it, don't rock with it, and you need to wake up and you need to, you know, open up a little more and be welcoming. My thing is that as long as you don't hate anyone, as long as you're not spreading hate, as long as you're not. But the other thing is though, the age. I'm raising kids, you're raising kids. Facts. Facts. So I'm not saying that, I mean, cause some, you know, they say they're they're born that way. Some say they're not. I that's a whole nother conversation. The whole point of the matter is is that allow me to have a discussion with my child. Like I'm sitting here watching Empire. I'm thinking my you know that's a nice little old family show. Mm -hmm. Just just give my what point I'm right, making. Right, right. I'm not talking about P Valley and right, I'm not right, talking right. about Power. Just I'm talking about on a nationally syndicated ABC CBS. Well, it was Fox, Fox. or something. You was watching Jamal get his little ass handed to him. And I'm not saying so. <laughs> now, maybe I'm a, 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 at a home in my household. Maybe I haven't had this discussion with my child. Right, yet. right. For sure. And not only that, let's take it a step further. further. Even Disney has done it. But this, oh, well, so this, this, that was my next point. And that's so frustrating. So when Beauty and the Beast, uh, nigga Gaston, <laughs> the little nigga that was, that, was, that was running around with Gaston, in the actual live remake, he was homosexual. He was actually in love with Gaston. So, look. so this is my thing with this, bro, with that. I'm not saying that I don't, first of all, I don't want that, uh, my kids watching that. But I don't want them watching heterosexual cartoons That's, fucking either. Exactly. I don't want none of it. Like, they don't have to be, none of that has to be <laughs> on there. It <laughs> don't have to be. Look, and I and that's what I will say, like, whether it's, um, Homophobe, oh, homophobic, or heter, you know. Allow us to have a conversation. Whatever it, not homophobic, but if it's if it's two guys or two girls or if it's man, woman, whatever it is, we've come to a place in general mm -hmm. where everything is over sexualized. Yes. Period. I don't like want my everything kids, I don't is, want my kids watching. Dog, that there's other. stuff that like you just said on a regular night on Fox, and you'd be like, wait a minute, it's, it's nine fifteen, like. <laughs> Why are they showing this? Why are they so? Yes, in that respect, in that aspect, I completely agree. But that comes down to parenting. Like you have to be able, like my me and my son, don't sit down and watch. I don't put him right here and say let's watch P Valley. Like I no, he's not supposed to watch it. Now as he gets older, is he gonna run into? Yes. But that's the same thing that we did too. Yeah. It just probably wasn't on this scale back that's, then. Exactly. So I think time is just dictated like we're just becoming and the fact that everybody has representation on the internet and on mm -hmm. 
it's just different now. So yeah, you just kind of got to accept, you know? Yeah, I, I just think people should do if you do, if, if something makes you uncomfortable, just don't watch it. Right. You don't gotta. You don't have to to say hey, to keep these faggots or whatever they call them. Yeah, yeah you don't have to do all that extra stuff. Like you I don't said, have to do that. No, just don't watch it. You I have totally people. You have people committing suicide. Yes. Right. People that are not comfortable in their own skin. Right. Just because turn on. the channel, fam. If it ain't for you, it ain't for you. But so you look, got the, the color commentary and all I that. I agree. Next week we are gonna come back and Lebron gonna tell us how he felt about P Valley because he's gonna watch. All right. You got stars, bro. Like just I don't got stars. You, you said get, you just got, got it. it. Yeah. yeah. But they still it just watch time, just man. watch episode, man, and then You gonna like Mercedes. He is. And Mississippi. He don't like and Mississippi. Gonna, all of them. All of them. Oh no, yeah, because he don't really like strippers. That's oh, what yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 I'm not into strippers. Um I'm not into strippers. You're not you're not into them. Never. Like I'm not into the culture. the culture, the culture, the like, culture. I'm not going to pay to go in oh, yeah, and I give my money up for somebody to dance so in front look, of me. I'm not so, going to do it. So from when we were younger to now, the culture is completely different. You're expected to go get in the sense that you're ex look. When I used to go, when I first started going to strip clubs, and I didn't go to a whole lot of them because Ohio is not known for strip clubs. So it ain't like you just going into the spots and it's popping. But the <laughs> ones that I went into, I used to just be like, all right, yeah, that's cool. Dollar. Cool. I'm cool. Dollar. Yeah, cool. Yeah. I'm out. But now it's a culture of if you're not going in there to drop bands on them, then you're a lame. You're corny. Yeah. Why are you here? Nah, see, I'm I'm with you on that. Yeah. I'm here because you were shaking it, and I had figured I would just come watch. <laughs> I just kept... I, do I gotta give you something? Like, am I obligated to drop some money on you because <laughs> I came in here? It's just something in my mind that won't let me take a no, dollar. They would tell. Why are you here, nigga? Ugh, ugh, nigga, what? Y'all ain't got no. Ugh. They feel like you're getting free views. Well, then why you here? Then? You didn't, don't give me the free view. Like, you can't come in the door unless you drop your money, I guess. Man, Did you have, do you have to pay to get in the strip club? Yes. See but what I'm saying? Right. I'm so not about to do all that. But, but, <laughs> I'm I'm but see, it. I'm talking Ohio, though. Like I, I'm not doing I, it in Atlanta, Miami, uh, wherever the strip culture is at its look, highest. Look, I'm not doing it. You, if Whatever you purchase, if you get a but drink. Purchase. If like, you, now, let's just say you went to the bar, right? And you got a drink. They're going to give you your change back in all ones. So it's time to go spend that right. money. Good. And they will come. Look, I've been in the day, especially here, right? Because here is so trash. The girls will come over to you because there's like eight people in there. What are you doing here, daddy? And if you want to know, daddy, yeah, what, are, what are you doing in here, daddy? You, you, you want to have some fun? I'll be like, nah. <laughs> like, nah. <laughs> Like I you just here came to get a drink. Man. I'm just oh okay, but they but, but did you just go there to get a drink though? I mean, he's gonna see the views. He just didn't want to pay for. So the look, view. if I gotta go get a drink, would I rather go get a drink where you where can I see, can go something? see something? Or, or you just really, that's what I'm saying. I would rather television. just go to a bar and just like I would rather do that. I just would rather do that because I'm not about to give her no money. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm fam, I'm not doing but it. she might, she might give you what, what she a might show. Give me. No, I don't want the show. <laughs> she might give you I a don't show, want the show that warrants I, I need the live action play. That's like, what I need she said. Live action. I mean, she gonna live that lap. Yeah. Most of the strippers here in Columbus be looking for drugs. If you go, to <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just tell you. I'm just telling y'all straight up. Especially if you look like so. If I walk in, look. If I walk in like this, right? They would automatically assume that I am yes. from the street. Like, like I'm dealing. Street culture. I'm selling pills, or yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I just I'm an honest guy that works a job. Yeah. And they'd be like, so they'd be talking to you for a second, and they'd be like, they can spell nine to five on you after yeah. a while. Oh yeah, once you ain't spending on money, no, 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 they just look over you and be like, so. <laughs> You wouldn't happen to know where I can get some blow. You be like, blow? Nah, man, I don't have no cocaine. Like I just came, I just came to watch you shake for a second. I don't have no drugs. You wanna like you? But but crazy. but that's because the strip club became a culture where a like especially like in Atlanta and all of that. Niggas yeah, used to drop their music in there, number one. Like, that was a big place to get your song played. Then it's also that drug culture. Like, anytime you can get something off somewhere. Perks. Oh, my God. They, but yeah, they be looking, they be all. Right. I don't want no perky dance. <laughs> Everybody on pills. But we get back to that. Everybody on pills right now. Who wants a perked out dance? I don't want a perked out dance. I don't want, 
Like, oh yeah, you don't want one at all because you don't. Like, I'd rather be, like you. Rather do, have you been to strip clubs? Uh, yes, I've gone to the strip club. How do you like strip? Because it became a thing where women go now, and it's mm-hmm. like I don't have a problem. They just kick it. Like, yeah, it's not a big I don't deal. have a. I don't have a problem with it. First of all, let me say, like, if I'm dating a man, be honest in, at the, out the gate about what about you like strip clubs. I gotta tell you that. I mean, be respectful because this is where communication. This is where not being honest. This is where problems come in. Gotcha. So, using your, you know, like, yo, babe, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm over at my dude's house, but nine times out of ten, you went to the strip club. Why would you uh, have to lie? So that seems deceiving. So, gotcha. point of the matter is what I'm saying. Yes, I don't mind going to the strip club to support the chicks. It gotcha. may sound sound crazy, but what I'm saying, they're up there, they're working. Right. There's no they difference are. by me going to my job, you know, yeah. nine to five. But, yeah, there's a, no, there's a no, bit of a difference. No, there's no, no, what I'm saying is, I'm talking about they're going to get paid. They are. So that's why they have a problem with guys like you that will come in and not give them money. I don't want to waste their time. That's <laughs> so I don't know. So I'm not I'm saying. Not even wasting their time. <laughs> so I have gone to the strip club like you, and I have not dropped my own personal money. Right, right, right. I, I can't afford to do that. Like, right. I'm not trying to be funny. Like, I if I if I had it, sweetie, I'd give it to you. Yeah. But if I'm with somebody and they be like, hey, go go put go, some go money throw in there. Yeah, throw that. of course. Yeah. I mean, I ain't mad at you. That's what you do. That's what so yeah, and I'll go to have a drink, you know, whatever. Should you be able to write off tax <laughs> for your taxes? Like you, you paying, you paying somebody a check. <laughs> but I, I, that's a, it's kind of like you own a business. Like I'm paying Trump you. Probably did it with his taxes. Probably, he probably wrote off all of it because I know he be in the strip club, yeah. or he just probably had to come to the White House or wherever he be. Because you know, old girl was the one yeah, that sued Stormy. Oh, uh, Stormy Daniels. Stormy Daniels. Because they arrested here, her here, here. in Columbus. Okay. At, at the Vanity. At, I've been. You've been to the Vanity? I've been several places in my life, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, I don't even know what that is. It's a strip club. I've been, I've been places. Bethel and um, so I've been me. places. They changed it. Well, yeah, Vanity is right next to. <laughs> the Go. The Go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were yeah. out there. We were yes, out there. Right I drive past it going to work, man. Yeah. Get it's your mind right out there. To, so know. it was called something else. Now they call it a goat again. Yeah, it's back up. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, she got arrested in there. Um, they she ended up suing them and getting paid by yeah. the city of Columbus. But mm-hmm. anyway, I think that, and this is another thing we had on to talk about today, that the strip club only fans is an extension of that whole culture to me. The having an only fans account and me subscribing and paying my money that's on a monthly basis. Like, that's a what, extension you, of Are the, you subscribed to No, me? sir. So <laughs> what is the difference between you doing it for you going to the strip club and sir. you doing because yeah, okay. So obviously thing. obviously like after I once I was married and all that, like I don't I've probably been to the strip club a handful of times in this time frame. And you were but, were you honest with your wife? Yeah, oh, she, no, that's, the point, that's the point. That's the point I'm making. That's no. you well, to be we could okay. I didn't. I, I asked that question the wrong way. I took marriage out of the <laughs> out of the. <laughs> nah, the like crazy. if you weren't married, would you be on OnlyFans? Only no, 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 no. Because I come from that era and that culture of I used to be in, in clubs with niggas who would take money. Off the ground from the strippers, like that's where we came from. Yeah. Like, I, I ordered, a couple, in your I ordered a couple pieces at the, from that. That's what I'm saying. So I don't come from this. That's not my era right there. Yeah, the my first, era is, is you got caught slipping. The first two or you two, got caught slipping. I'm about to say the and first. I might pocket the only this. one or two uh, two times I've been in there, I took money. Yeah, I mean because it's like it's right here for me. It's for all of us. Yeah. You got caught slipping. So, no, she just didn't have a chance to pick up her money. That she, she, she be, shook her no, money maker. She was shaking. Her, how dare she when she's sitting there trying to shake it for you? She can't sit there and shake it for me. She's shaking, 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 shaking it for somebody else. Look, oh, y'all are and, awful. Look, so, awful. But I said that to say that when oh. you talk about the transition to OnlyFans, right. there is no fucking way that I am going to subscribe monthly no. to somebody on I'm just I'm not doing it. Like, man, you know how time, many free nudes I, like I done got in my life? <laughs> I am not. Yo, and I, do, and I, I, I used to get some high quality nudes. I'm not paying for nudes. And then you don't even know what the content is until you until actually subscribe. So I've heard stories of girls <laughs> Dudes is subscribing for 29 and they on their reading books. That was my next question. 
How much does it cost? It depends. So different women set their prices oh. at different rates. You can so do it's smart because what well, Cardi B started one. Yes. So she started one for the for the intention of if a rumor or something gets out about her, she's I'm gonna address her it here. here. I'm yes. going to you my subscribers subscribe to me here. You're going to get my you gotta pay me first. You gotta pay me to get that. If you care that much. Right. And she, that's but, have, but see, there's a lot. There's a lot of there's a lot of women where there was like even this thing where they wanted. She's an actually an actress, and I can't think of her name right now. But she started on OnlyFans, and she kind of teased it like, "I'm yeah. gonna be doing the damn but thing." But that's not what she did. And she, that ain't what she did. She's so dumb. niggas was What's, like her feet <laughs> like, or like, something. Was yeah, something. niggas was pissed. Like, yo, I didn't sign up for this. That's what you get. Like, you don't you know. You should have signed up for it. Why would you even? Why, what in your mind told you as a grown man? Because or, everything is, we are living online. Yeah, like, everything, everything is, we're living cyberly you would, you would buy, now. You would buy a Playboy magazine back in the day. Nope. Nah. No, I'm just saying, like, I'm not saying you in general. I'm oh, talking about people. I buy King, though. No. Definitely King, bought a couple Kings. Double XL, well, see, I can And all of this is an extension to, of, of that. So now it's online. So now I everything is so everything is digital now. Yeah, so good. most of the times, I, I mean, you still have magazines. Yeah, but that's what it is. So mo back in the day, you used to have, mag I mean, they still right, have magazines. Still but now mags. everything is right here. Yeah. So they but want King, you to get at it. I was, oh, Ashanti on there? Let me pick that Ashanti issue up. I'm not, I'm not paying $20 for Somebody who's sitting in my cu in the next cubicle. I'm not doing it. Oh, and see, that's what that's what the pandemic and COVID did. Mm -hmm. It allowed a lot of these women, and mm -hmm. I mean, there's some dudes that got them too. The dude work. Safari got one. Yeah, Tiger got mm -hmm. one. But it allowed some people that wasn't getting that Money. bread to be like, I'm gonna start one. But like you said, if you just in the cubicle next to me, I'm cool. Maybe and I'm they're realizing. Them. They're realizing like, oh, okay, I'm not what I thought yeah. I was because ain't nobody really subscribing like this. But if I do subscribe to you, to your, like, let's Ashanti, like you just said, if Ashanti, so the people who created OnlyFans, they like, yo, we created this so people could connect with their fans directly. We never said it was a what nasty content? side. Yeah, what we didn't say this. Mm -hmm. This is what it turned into. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wants to get on here and they're not necessarily going to be mm -hmm. showing ass or mm -hmm. That's fine, and mm -hmm. it should be that way. But you can't advertise like I'm gonna see something, yeah. and then I don't see nothing. I'm gonna stay here like nah, I need my money back. I'm, yeah, I'm good. I need my money back. Give me my seven day tr free trial, and then after that, I'll but yeah, I would never, I would never subscribe be just for that reason. Like, there's nothing that you could really do on there where it's worth the. But money that's what I'm money. saying. Like, it, and even like with OnlyFans, porn, strip club, like that, just all of that. I'm just not that hypersexual mm -hmm. to to where it's just like where it's only visual for me. Like I can't. I'm oh, not, you got to be stimulated otherwise. I'm not about to not really stimulated otherwise. I'm not about to pay money to watch nothing. And you can't get nothing out of it. I'm not doing you it. You can't touch it now. If <laughs> and, but then then that's different because <laughs> but then going a step further, I'm not paying for no prostitutes either. Yeah, so that's a big thing going so on right now. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of, a lot of cast is paying the play. Oh, I know personally, cast is paying the play. I know, big time in 2020. I know for sure. So I know one of my closest friends does it like he's ordering Donatos. <laughs> that's just what he into. I don't understand. I know, who, and I think I know. I know you know who I do. I know you know. So all right, so Nancy Nicole. So yeah. if a dude approached you and was basically just on some. What what does it cost? How much does it cost? Like, what do I need to give you? How much money that like? Are, I mean, it's been had. It this has happened. This happens. I, see, I, I just I, no, but I, I just asked you this. What was like two days ago? Like, About I the DMs. Filthy. So I didn't want to assume, yes. but I figured in this climate, the way stuff is going, it's a lot of transactional mm -hmm. relationships. So you've been approached like that. Oh, several times. So what happens? So what happens when the? Are you offended? Or are you? First off, how did they say it? You got to give us an example. Like, what did they say? How did they pull up? I need to know. Because like, how do you even start off a conversation yeah. like that? How do they you, start you conversation? always hear about people saying that this happens, but I've never been a part of this. And you just never know, been the road to actually do it. Like, hey, so what you, <laughs> yeah. what it costs? Like, what, right, I, I, I can't even imagine that. Yeah. So what, what was that like? Like, 
for a nigga to be like, yo, what you I have about? mixed feelings. I'm like, what makes you think I'm this type of person? That's, first of all, first is kind of like offensive. Mm-hmm. And then you kind of be like, dang, like. Are you flattered? Are you, yeah, anyway? like, are you. Like, no, are you flattered? No, I'm anyway? not flattered because. Because I don't feel like it's something to be proud of. Right. So it doesn't flatter me. It, it makes me feel like, oh, is that what you think of me? Am I selling? Do you look? Do I look like a, a walking sex toy or something right, right, like right. that? Or do I just look like somebody you can't take serious yeah. or you don't respect? Right, right, right. right. Do you, or does it look like, um, oh, she the only type of girl I gotta? You got to pay her to be with her. That's the type. She won't be with just no ordinary dude. Right. You have to be some type of dude to have money in order to have her, and that's Definitely. what I get yeah. upset about. So. If a chick asks me that question like that, I'm like, oh, thank you. Oh, I'm flattered. Like, I'm flattered. <laughs> How much you need? Oh, what? See, it's different. Thank you. That's so wrong. You know, like, it's easier for a man me? to, it's it's like it's right for y'all. But when it comes to the woman, yeah, it's yeah, wrong. Yeah, it's looked yeah, down yeah. upon. So the most recent one, I'm trying to find it in my DM because I have so many DMs that I'm trying it's to find It's funny it. you doing that because I had an idea for a segment mm-hmm. where you should get off deep, the DM. Deep diving in the DMs mm-hmm. with Nancy Nicole. Every week she can give us, because I know they're coming in, so she can at least give us one. <laughs> she ain't got to say who it is or what it's about. But <laughs> I just be curious to know what niggas be saying. Oh, they be off the chat. <laughs> I, you know, I get all kinds of dick pics. I get all kinds of dick pics. Oh, for real? And, I, and again, I'll be like, do I look like, I mean, I get the, I get the gray sweats. I get the actual pieces I've never, as well. I've never wrapped my mind around an unsolicited dick. No, you just be like, I can't understand what in that all mind would be yeah. like, she don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, why would you, like, in my head, I cannot even understand. I'm trying to find <laughs> I cannot understand yeah, that right. at all. I'm never, like, I, but I always hear women saying that they get them constantly. Yeah. And I'm like, who are these dudes? Like, who is doing this? And why are they doing that? That's I would feel I crazy. Like, like, yeah, I'm going to just shoot this off to her. She don't like this. <laughs> like, what? Like, she don't like this. They ain't never had a conversation with her or nothing. Just... Just this how I'm showing up. Because I have a couple accounts. That's why it was taking me so long. I oh, have she got multiple D, D uh, accounts. I can't remember. I have oh, you got two of them. Yes. So I know both of them DMs. Is crazy. So, I'm trying to figure out, find which one. So anyway, let's just make a long story short. This one guy, and it was from a guy, when you see this picture, like, the least that I would thought <laughs> that would send me something. He was Caucasian. I, oh, he sent you the. He was like, <laughs> I would love to be your sugar daddy. Okay. And I would pay you $2,500 a week. See what I'm saying? A week. What, are we just talking about this? And what For I what? said? Just to, just to spend time with him. Just to, so I can if be his sugar baby. If I bait. was a woman, I would be out here, fam. 25? We ain't got to talk about it now. Let's, let's, so there's four weeks off in a camera, month. Off camera, let's talk <laughs> about how we can get to this 25. <laughs> Cause there gotta be a way where you ain't got to You know what I'm no, saying? He just, yeah. He just wanted to be my sugar that's baby. That's crazy. I mean, he crazy. wanted me that's to be nice. my sugar daddy. That's twenty five hundred. When I find it, I will send it that's to y'all. Nice. I love your moral code. But I, I don't have one. That started. I'd have been like twenty five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me more. My moral code ain't that strong, man. There was another Tell one. Tell me more. Uh, I've done worse for less. <laughs> <laughs> twenty five. Crazy. So okay, but. Do you okay? But do you feel like the the climate and like this whole city girl, mm-hmm. bad bitch, mm-hmm. it makes dudes feel like this is how I gotta pull up because that's what they on now. This is this is what it is. I have to show up, not on a regular. Let me take you out and court you. No, I just need to ask you off top. Like, what is it gonna cost? Because maybe they look at you and say, I know she ain't that's gonna entertain me. Without no money or something like that's that. That's literally prostitution. It is, but you can't tell this generation that they're not gonna cop to that. They, the, a lot of the young girls that I see, like the whole idea of, I post on Instagram, not me, but a woman posts on Instagram, right? And whatever the pick is, if she ass out, whatever, whatever, gets thousands of comments. Every nigga in there is thirsty, right? Oh, Every nigga in the comment is going crazy. 
they don't respond to not man one of them because that to them is like that's beneath me i'm only going to entertain who's talking about subscribing yeah i've seen girls be like they're like man you bad as fuck link in bio <laughs> check the link like this is what it has come to so i can kind of understand why dudes come at you come, come at, at you know it's 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 wrong yeah. and it's disrespectful but i think everything is just murky like everything is cloudy on because, how men and women are supposed that, to looks interact. like you said it's like you said like the music most women now that's what they're our artists which is sad the, the the rappers that's what they that's what they talk about is their that's their it. crotch um and most most men talk about is killing and selling drugs so now right. it seems like most of the female rappers right now is talking about how good they WAP is and WAP. this and that and that and that's what's sad so they feel in order to get the WAP what a woman wants is the money exactly so i mean look every day i wake up i'm told i'm a brokey i go online and it's like nigga you're broke like, because that is the environment now. If you don't, she said, I don't cook it clean. Show you how I got this ring. <laughs> Look, if you not willing to cash out, like I seen a post where they was talking about how much to spend on a first date, right? How much money should be spent on a first date? Or if you go out with a dude and he ain't got it. Oh, there were some chicks that really was giving. I could pay. For our lunch with a credit card, pay for our dinner with a credit that. card. I saw yeah. that. Okay. A woman said because That's a dude that. paid with a credit card, it was embarrassing. That he was a brokey, and she was embarrassed because by him, if he put out a he credit card and bet it or no cash, he was a brokey. So stuff like that is really <laughs> messing up the <laughs> ecosystem of how we're supposed to interact with one another as men and women because the expectations are completely all over the place. Now. This is so sad because. I feel like I'm the elder at this table. <laughs> and not only being the elder, I'm the female. And I do not think or act or condone the actions of what goes right. on right now in this generation. I sit here and I be like, what in the heck? And I'm raising yeah. daughters in this generation. So I make sure that I have these conversations. Yeah. With my young ladies, your this, influence has to be bought. It has than to. Nick's social media is just full of it's That's really all to come down to. It, it has to. You have got your to. voice got to be louder than it has to. The outside noise. Then this mess that's oh. going on. So um, none of this, none of that has ever been a turn. Of, that's why I'm just saying to you, when I get approached in DMs, I just sit here and I just be laughing. Like, do you really think that's impressive to me? Like, I can mm. give two quarters about your know, 2500 a week, even though I can use it. But do you see here? <laughs> I mean, I, I can mean. really use it. Your moral code is way better than mine. So I, would <laughs> I can really use it because I can pay off a lot of bills and yeah. I can get a lot of things that I need. But and he probably don't want you to do nothing, but just spend time with him. I know younger girls who it. have said that, mm -hmm. that they was dealing with like dudes, like they in their twenties and dudes is in their fifties mm -hmm. and even sixties. And all they want to do just come spend is time spend them. time. Go, let's go out to eat. Mm -hmm. Let's go, you know, eye now can be some eye candy. Mm -hmm. That's, That's it. it. This is their trophy. So, That's it. Okay. So yeah. then you got to hit him back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. After we, <laughs> after this is a wrap, we gonna bad. come up with a plan. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? To get to this 25. You gotta let that man know, like, yeah, hey, man, look, all you want is some time. Yeah, I ain't gotta. But see, walk. but see, that's the thing, though, because uh, no matter what, these old days, nasty men, they gonna want something. It, eventually, yeah. and that's how it always go. They say they don't want nothing until they want something, and then now you got they the creepy guy. You know? Love flaps play with man. Mm. I've given you ten thousand dollars. <laughs> Hand on your thigh, like no, oh, it's, it's go time. Thoroughly yeah. I cannot. I cannot. Okay. I cannot. So, like you just said, like you as this generation and how they give it up and what's been going on, how do y'all think that the whole boss bad bitch mentality of a woman, because that's where we at right now when you look at a Cardi and a Meg and all of that, it's like, look, I'm not about to wait around on a nigga to do me wrong. He's not going to do me dirty. I'm getting to the money. I'm also bad. And if a nigga want to fuck with me, he going to have to show me what he can do for me. This is the... To me, anybody. That's how it's always been. Man, no, I think we always a man always always men, at some point had to show her what he. But back then, for. but back then, all you had to do was put on a hard hat and go to work. Right, but I'm just saying and it was like oh, he got a job. It's always been an expectation for a woman, a, a man to 
be able to come and bring some to type of provide. value. To there you. has been that expectation, but what would happen was is, is that, okay, now he showed me that he got a job and he can provide. Now I'm gonna move in and we're gonna be together and then he's just gonna cheat on me for 20 <laughs> years. Mean. And that was the game. Now it's like, I'm not accepting this fuck shit from these niggas anymore. <laughs> this is what oh, they are on accepting now. the fuck shit. On the low. They don't say it out yeah, loud. Yeah, but they, they accept they it is. behind closed doors. True. There's a lot of people that get cheated on <laughs> behind closed doors. But outwardly, it's like, yo, I'm a boss. I get my own money. I don't depend on a man. Whatever. Now it's this like, it's this friction between man and woman where it's like dudes be like, she doing too much. Like, I ain't got time for that. I'm not about to engage. I, that's me. I don't have the, <laughs> I don't have the, that what? That patience for bullshit. Like for those ideas, like so, first of all, I, my woman not about to call herself no bad bitch or boss bitch. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. But she not even about to go down there. Bro. That. Once she does that, she then we already at a disconnect. She can't even be like, nah, because now you sound like one of them. <laughs> <laughs> like you this close for my only thing. So with your okay, so it, like that's how folks. I mean, but true, that's true though. You that close, <laughs> and, and see niggas be ignoring the signs. They I, be I know. knowing. Oh, I know. Like sometimes you be like, man, she. Just about ready to go. It's right. right. <laughs> Close to right. going. And my wife and I come to me and tell me she a bad bitch. Now your wife is younger than you. True. So when y'all met and all, you know, she that was her her that none of that was even in her vocabulary. Did she, you worry she, about it at all? No. Like from her? No, not from her. Okay. She has moments like intimately when she's playing, when she dance, talk about being, she, <laughs> but she's not publicly about to go out and be and say I'm a bad bitch. Yeah, and then yeah, she's yeah, not yeah. about to do all. Gotcha. But people in, there are with girls who, I was, well, I'm a women. There are women who do that, mm -hmm. that it's embarrassing. Like, <laughs> it's really embarrassing for me to watch them really think that being a trophy wife or a bad that That's what it is. Or, that that's what it's supposed to be. It's, and yeah, I just, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I don't know, man. I I just think that we are at a bad spot with like, you you always see people talk about how relationships don't work. Like that's the majority of what I see now, but they especially in our community. Yeah, they don't. At all? Not at all. But it, do you believe the same in way you can say that there's fifty percent like, true love happiness? Do you believe in that? Oh yes. Like it, it's possible. I believe no, it's, it's possible. absolutely possible. I believe but, it's possible. But what's the but? Fifty percent of these motherfuckers in. So whether they there's there, you can say there's fifty percent you can either look at it half half black, empty, half, half, empty full. half full like if the, if you it, it's one of the things where if you say that they don't work then you have to say yeah they do work sometimes they they obviously sometimes work so is it the exception or the rule are are good healthy monogamous relationships the rule good or the healthy exception? relationships are. You left out one of the things. No, that I, said, I did not leave it out. I, said, I heard you. Monogamous. I heard you. I said I monogamous. Heard I heard what you said. Okay. I, what I'm saying, I'm not saying there's no such thing as faithful people. What I'm saying is that in this generation of dating and life, as far as that relationship, it's harder be, to to think that options Options are way so, more easy. So the options are more readily accessible now. Now than it's ever been. Do you so like that's that? why your granddad could have a, uh, not yours, two personally. families. He could have two families <laughs> on the same street, on two different ends of the street, because we don't know each other's business. Do you think that that plays a role, especially because men, we always get the bad rap. Do you think that plays a role nowadays, like as far as with, Instagram and social media that it's more accessible for men to have the ability to talk to other women or be infatuated or see these women like do you think that's a problem for you if he was dealing with a dude like if he had social media or if he was on it like is that a big deal for you are you tripping are you does he have to prove to you like I ain't on this in my DMs I'm not fucking around because a lot of what I see that Splinter's relationship now is all social media based. I see women all day long like I can't trust him because it's too popping on Instagram. He's doing too much. Is that <laughs> like? I think the phone in general is a. I don't you, care you, if you don't like the phone? It it's, it was it has been a problem for me. Has it? Yes, the phone in general because you're, you're taking away time 
intimacy with me, attention with me. And I'm a, I'm a person that requires, not from everybody, but if I am with you, I require your attention. Not saying I have to have it like every, you know, like, you know, you yeah. come home. But and more than Facebook do or Instagram. Yes. Do, so if, like, if you're coming home and you're instantly, you, you, oh, you ain't seen me all day. Like yeah. we've been gone eight hours because we've been working. And then some first thing you're doing is getting on your game or sitting there on the phone. And I haven't seen you all day. I done cooked your meal. And then we finally lay down to have some type of quality time right. before we get up and do it again. All over again. And you sitting here on this phone. I'm like, what is going on it's on this phone? So I'm not, so I... So yeah, it can be a problem, but that's communication. So, but to have to, you ever ran a phone? Have you ever took no, the phone see, and that's ran the through thing. it? See, that's the that's the whole thing. And here, I'm I'm just a whole different type of woman than the normal type of woman. To get back to the original original, I'm not gonna walk around and call myself a boss bitch. I'm not gonna call myself a bitch. I'm not gonna do that right. because I look at myself. I have too much respect for the woman that I am. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, again, you know, it's the generation. And again, I'm trying to teach my children something and like, I don't mind the mentality. If you have a boss bitch mentality, but don't walk around talking about like, oh yeah, I'm Quite that bitch yeah, and Quite allow it. somebody gotcha. to, you know, like address me as a bitch and to, you know, be like, oh, cause I have, um, a certain type of business that you know, I'm a. That's when you can call me a boss. No, I. Hey, I'm a mama, and I take care of my household. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. Period. And I handle my right, business. Right. If you're not handling your personal business, I don't know how you can be a boss or anything. Boss. I mean, and that you know, people just say it. You know, it's right. just a term, and people it is throw it a out term. there, and they ain't nowhere near. A boss, a boss at all, and I think men and women, like it no, ain't just women. Exactly, it's, it's, it's all of us. So that's to get back to the original. So I, I don't like that, you know, but yet if you're handling your business and if that's your preference to call yourself that, that's on you, boo boo. I ain't. That's do what you do. Do what you do. And like, again, as far as gay, and I love you. You like it. I love it. I have no problem with it. But me personally, the type of woman I am, I'm not going to do it. Secondly, to get to the point as far as like social media, again, with the communication, it's like I said about the strip club. It's a, Just it's a conversation. It. It's a conversation. Now, if you're doing something to make me feel, but I'm going to tell you what, y'all, <laughs> don't doubt a woman's intuition. Oh, a woman's go. intuition. Here we go. I'm so serious. Here I know y'all probably heard it before. Here we go. But I see it a time and time over again. My intuition is a son of a man, a man, a man, a gun. I want to say some curse words, but and nine times. So you be known. You, I be known. You be known. I be knowing. But the whole point is what I'm saying is if you have social media, it's a conversation. We get, we start a relationship. Hey, this is what I like. This is what you don't like. Tell me what we what we both like, so we be both on the same page. So from the start, we know like, well, I don't mind you doing this and doing that, but don't be liking this type type of picture and don't be doing this type of you know whatever and whatever. I mean, I do. I would have an issue with my husband hitting the like button. Not hitting the like button, okay. but what is he liking? Now, like I'm saying, that's just like, like you sitting here liking women's crotches spread all across the. But 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 listen, but this but this but let, I'm gonna say this. But what type of man do you have? This is what this is another thing. How do you carry yourself as a man? Are you a father? What are, what is, what is your profession? What do you do? Right. So you have to remember, like everybody's watching. You have kids that's watching. You have whatever you do as your profession. That. So why are you liking certain type of things and everybody's sitting here like, well, well, you, you, this type of, let's just say, even though the 45th is not a right. good quality, but Obama, wouldn't nobody sitting here expect Obama to be liking. Oh, he's getting the mental likes off. And no, but it's mental. It's mental <laughs> However, though. It's not set, it's like to be this seen. This is my thing about that, about that topic. Don't tell me that you don't want me liking some titties on there, but you got your titties on. And, and, uh, thank you. Put a put. You can't tell me. Give me some. You can't tell and me. And this is my that's that's my example. We gonna flip it around because my the man I had the point one time. <laughs> you know, was like um, you sitting here liking booties and titties, but yet if I show some cleavings, you problem. you having a like you having a connection. Why you got your breast all out, nigga? For the same reason <laughs> that you sitting there liking them. So it can't be a double it's, standard. It can't be a double standard. It's, and it's both ways. It's, it's, sorry, it goes I didn't both mean ways. to call nobody no nigga. <laughs>
And it goes both ways. I mean, like, yeah. don't. You it goes both if, ways. If my, if, if my woman t telling me don't like her, why are you liking them tits out? Right. Like, why are you have your tits have, on yeah. social media? I so you can, don't tell me where I can't do. And you want to. That's why I said it's a conversation yeah. from the gates. You have to communicate, but, say what you do and don't like. And there was a question you had. I don't go through phones. I don't. That's my. That was my next. My I third don't touch point. phones. I don't give a fuck what's in your phone. I'm not saying I don't all care. That, I, I, don't, I don't care. I just don't care. I just I'm not about to look over your shoulder. I don't. Or, I don't like that at all. Or, I don't like that um, Have that feeling. That's right. right. I'm not doing the it. I'm not, yeah, the intuition. The I, I, I'm not doing it. I, I, I'm just not doing it. I'm not gonna do it. If and you if it comes to me and it comes like right, I was supposed to come to me. I was supposed to. I was not supposed to. Be mad yeah. at you. That's what my hope is. And see, a lot of times you. I mean, they like this is the age old thing. You search for something. You gonna find. You gonna find something. That's why I don't be going to find nothing. And then I'm stuck with the decision that I may not be ready to make. Right, like because I said they search for something. <laughs> so yes. what are we looking for? Are you looking for a reason to right. leave? Right. Looking for, if you don't well, keep doing all right. right. But they always say it's their intuition and that they knew <laughs> you was on some fuck shit. Man, so now they got to run your phone man, and you find see, out man, what you want. Women's on. intuition is really one of the biggest. Is that a myth? <laughs> it's a myth. I've never heard it's it. Not it's not a myth. It's, it's real. Like, I'm so serious. I can give you so many prime examples. But the whole point of the matter is I've never been the type of woman you can... If I'm dating, you can you can sit me in your house all day, every day. I'm not going through your drawers. I'm not going through your medicine cabinets. I'm not going so your wallet. I'm not even going through your phone. I just don't feel like if if you're not ready to be in a relationship or if you're not ready to be serious, then just don't. Just don't. Just don't. Right, right. And, and that's you have to turn awesome. your phone down, phone over. You already. You wait, already know. wait, hold on, hold on. A lot of times, a lot of times, no seriously, the because face down. a lot of times can be an issue. Now, a lot of times it's not purposely done. Trust me, I do it all the time. Oh. I just do it and do like that. But it has come up several times. Why your phone? Why your phone? Why your phone turned over? That like sounds crazy like, to me. That is nuts. That sounds crazy. But it happens, though. But that's this ain't the first time I've heard this. But this is how I know that we are in a place that is very detrimental to healthy relationships. Because if I walk into a room and your phone is face down, and because of that, my whole fucking night is blown. Yes, like, your sometimes. whole like, attitude. Like, yeah, like, I ain't, I ain't even say nothing to you. Yeah. I'm just in my head like, mm -hmm. just some motherfucking shit. Yeah. There's no way we can prosper. There's no right. way we can grow if something as small as my phone being face down mm -hmm. is a problem. Yes. Not that insecure. I can't be. I, I Look, my the, wife, it happens. My I wife, know it happens a lot. Uh, her okay. phone is constantly like, I'll call her when I'm when we're not together and she won't answer and then she'll call me right back and she'll be like, my ringer was off. Mm -hmm. My phone's on silent. Mm -hmm. Now that bothers me just selfishly because if when I called you, I might have needed something, but other people would be like, Damn, why are your shit always on silent? Mm -hmm. Why See, your shit? I don't thing. go there. I don't think that's what that, I just sat here and said. That's all bad. The, the phone, flip phone and the phone on silent. That's, that's exactly what I just said. Because that's all bad. I'm that petty though too. Like if I call her and she don't answer the phone and she call back, then you don't answer. Nope. <laughs> that's just married. That's this nigga shit. Nah, I do that yeah. too though. Well, I, I called you back. I know. I seen. I seen it. <laughs> like, why hey, you I really do think though, as like people in serious relationships and marriages, if we really would convene more we would and share, share everything, is we would know that a lot of our shit is the same <laughs> shit. We go through a lot of the same shit. I think people don't. Cause it's like you don't know what everybody was doing in their house, but I do that shit too. Yeah. Like I called you, you didn't answer. Now you call me back. My first year, I ain't answering. My now. first year, oh, of marriage, I'm being petty. I'm on some petty shit right now. My first year of marriage, I called you like all the time. Like, I'm sick of this. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I'm yeah. ready to get back out here. Yeah. <laughs> I, used, I used to call him and tell him, like I, I'm sick of this shit. Like I do not want this anymore. I used to call him. He he, he be like, nah, man, that's normal, man. That shit happens. That's just what. That's what. What's what you used to living with her or something like? What like just like none of it. <laughs> <laughs> just like none of it. You know what though? I I can tell you being like in my circle of friends and people around me, like when you the only married one or mm -hmm. one of that's difficult. They always hit you like because they want to know. But mm -hmm. when I didn't have that, I didn't have people other than like Juice or somebody like that. Like you can my friends wasn't married, mm -hmm. so I didn't know. Like my dad, but he old, so he'd be like, "Nigga, I don't know what you're talking about." Right, right, right. So right. I didn't have these 
outlet. That you can call. So I, when it, they hit me, it's like I try to be like, all right, what's the problem? What's the situation? That's, that's good. That's good. And you mean. talk through it because he, I think for him, and he wasn't just like it wasn't constant. Like right. he making this, like he called me every day, like nigga, <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> it wasn't like that. But occasionally when he did, like, bro, how do you deal with mm-hmm. X, Y, and Z? Yeah. I'd be like, this is how I did it, mm-hmm. but my situation and yours may not be the same, same situation. Yeah. So you got to figure out how you can do that for you mm-hmm. because it ain't no one size fit all. Like his woman is different than my right. woman and my woman is different than the next mm-hmm. woman, but different than you. Like, yeah, you and just got to figure and, it out. And with, even in those moments too, as, as, as the person complaining, to get the best advice, I would still have to be honest. Like, what what did you do? Like, yeah, mm-hmm. Right. And he was like, hey, nah, man, right. you wild. Right. A lot of people leave parts of the story out. Yeah, but it, it's been multiple <laughs> times. He's like, nah, man, you wild. Like, something I mean, else happened. Like, you had to do, you know. Yeah, you tripping, bro. Um, but no, nah, I mean, you know, everybody, I think ultimately, if that's what you're looking for is love and all that, you want to get to that point. But you have these weird little quirks with oh, the absolutely. social media and the phones and all of that. Absolutely. And I sent y'all the, the thing in the uh, group text about dude that flew <laughs> the girl out. Yeah. So he flies her out on vacation, or they supposed to go on vacation for like a week. He flies her out, and apparently, once they get out there, once they get out there, the way he described it, it was an understanding that cheeks were being given. Mm-hmm. This woman was giving cheeks up, mm-hmm. yeah, and then she decided not to, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And so the way he played it was. I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to cancel the room. I'm going to cancel the flight. And she can figure out what she's going to do on this island while they're already gone. Yeah, they there already. And she's already so, all right, so, so A seven-day trip. Yeah, so let me break it down real quick. Yes, because tell them, tell them how it is. How it really went down was, was that they had a conversation, right? So somebody put this on Facebook and it was like, yo, my friend took a girl on vacation. The first night he tried to smash, but she said her stomach was messing up, acting up. Night two, she had a headache. The morning after he tried again. And finally, after the third time, he told, she told him, yo, I wasn't really feeling you like that. I want to get to know you better. And this is after they're already on the vacation. He says from that moment, boom, cancel everything. You figure your life out. I'm going to chill. Because I guess they took four flights and a boat to get to wherever the hell they went. So he felt like we all the way out here. Now you've denied my cheek advancements three times. And you finally tell me, oh, I don't even know if I'm feeling you like that. I want to get to know you better. So he canceled all of her shit. Said she had to find her way home and all of that. And that's just really what the conversation was, is was he wrong or was she wrong? Who was wrong um, for this situation where they found themselves? Because I guess ultimately he kicked her out the room, told her to get her own room and said, you know, when it's time to fly back, you on your own. So you had a lot of people saying that he was wrong. You had a lot of people saying that she should have never went out there in the first place. If she knew she wrong, she's wrong. Why is she wrong? She knew that she wasn't going out there to do something that he, she knew he wanted. She okay. knew that. And if if the reason why you were going out, if the reason why you don't want to do it once you get out there is I just want to get to know you better, then y'all weren't, how can you trust a stranger to take you far away <laughs> from your people or wherever you at? How can you even trust him to take care of you? Right. In that in that fashion, like if y'all strangers, why are you going like it's like stranger danger? That's some shit you learn at like five years old. Like why the fuck you seen a free trip and you try to go it. out there, you try to take. Thought you was gonna finesse. You thought he was gonna finesse him out of the, out of that vacation, and he now you gotta find a way home. Who's I mean, wrong? I feel they both wrong. They're both wrong. They're both wrong. Why are they both wrong? First of all, like LeBron said, number one, she knew what her intention was in the first place, but from the gate, she was wrong because if, if the, I don't know how long they've been communicating before the trip. He was just in. said that they had been talking nasty and talk. Right, so that's my point. You know so you talking nasty with this man, you so, and now he's like, okay, let's take this trip. So she's like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna take this trip. I'm like thinking she gonna get this trip for free, but knowing she been 
conversation. Oh yeah, you can no telling what she was saying to him. Like, right. oh, I can't wait to, or you can fill this walk wall, wall, whatever. <laughs> we don't know what she said to him. So now she get out there. It, but let's be for real. Like she could have, she could have probably wanted to give it to him. Uh huh. She probably could have. Now I'm, a, I'm a, seriously. She, now she, she probably could have. Then she got here. His feet probably stank. His breath probably stank. Something, something probably, probably went. Turned her something off. turned her off. Something could have been, you know. So it was all good. Because a lot of times when you meet people over the phone or social media or whatever, you, you have this great attraction online or before you meet. And then, and then when you meet up. And then when you meet, this can be the most uh, simple thing. I mean, for me, it can be like, oh, his nails are dirty. Oh, his, his breath stink. And then all, and I'm automatically just turned off. It's a wrap. So, so you don't know what really happened on her end. She should have smelled that breath where they took them. Plenty. That took that trip, like she, she said, stranger danger. Before you, Some. y'all could have went. Excuse me, y'all could have went to a restaurant or something before Some. you took this trip to see if you actually can do seven days. Not even two days. It wasn't even a weekend. It was seven. That's another thing too. Like that I was too long. Maybe a weekend. Yeah, you, you don't even but know a person. seven day with a. Sh- Somebody you, you don't pay even for know. seven days. That sounds he probably, now, got, he probably got a good deal. Now see, but that's what I told him when we post when I posted or the comment when dude posted and we was on the comment. I told because he was like, yo, she wrong. She let him on. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yes. If she was talking crazy, like I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z, and she did, and she's wrong. But what type of nigga is you? Why is you flying out this random and so this for that's, seven days? And that's what you hear me say both? both. That's why I say they're both wrong. But it don't happen because if she acts like if she takes her time to get to know the nigga. None of this even happens. She don't even go on this trip. But he could have just as easy been like, nah, I don't think this, this is, is appropriate. Yeah, right? I don't even know you I like that. I don't think this is right. So- but it don't get to that point. <laughs> it don't even get to that point if she say, nah, I don't even know you like that. I don't even know you like that to go nowhere with you, you for, for seven, seven days. days. That's where it should have started. Stop. Yes. So, okay. My take was that she was wrong. I agree with you. Mm-hmm. They were both wrong. They were both wrong. She was wrong for giving any type of, you know, um, misleading interpretation that she would. That I think this should what she looked like. That would let me know if she was really wrong. Oh, Jesus. But you said, what would she look like? If That would let me know if she really wrong. I, you she know, wrong. Regardless of what she looked like. It changes. It changes. <laughs> look, he's wrong, though. And that's what I had put on that post. Yes. I said it was sucking shit. I said it was sucking shit for him to cancel the room and cancel the flight and, and all of that. Was but a sucker that. would make that type of a arrangement. Sucker would do exactly. It's, it's all sucker shit yeah, yeah. from him doing it in the first place to canceling it after he didn't get what he wanted. Mm-hmm. This is all shit that suckers do because mm-hmm. she I, got a free trip though. She could have closed her eyes or covered her mouth or put hands <laughs> on it or something. No, she right. had to weasel out of that trip. No, like that. Right. she could have gave him something. Hey, but hey. She did for, probably kiss. For her to know what time it was and to like independently say fuck it and I'll go on my own, she must have really didn't want to fuck with this nigga because Wait, is that what happened? She when he canceled everything, I guess he she tried to come back and say, I'm sorry. My bad. Mm-hmm. Let's try to figure this out. Mm-hmm. And he was like, Because she already had me. It's like nah. she couldn't get home. And she was trying to call everybody to help her get home. But it seemed to me here again, that's 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 the whole story is so ridiculous. You, you brought her out here regardless of now time you know you may not get it in the first place. See, this is this is what I'm saying, they're both wrong. She's not guaranteed, she doesn't have to give it to you. So you have to suck that shit up and be like, oh she I, it's now look. there's a gamble, I'm gonna get it or not. So I'm gonna have to tolerate. Yes or no? She's right about that. Yes. That not. This is where I say he needs to take more responsibility because as a man, I've been around a long time. Yes. Before. I have been sold a lot of dreams that's in my day. That's right. Thanks, I've, had, I've had girls tell me all type of shit. They don't do that. As soon as they see me, and, <laughs> and when it don't happen, I got to take the L and that's keep right. pushing. I can't be like, oh, fuck it. Like, have you ever seen like the little uh, video where they were talking about this hot nigga drive you home when he ain't get none? So it's like the girl is in the car and it's like, this how he drive you home when he thought he's gonna get something and now he gotta take you home. She getting all the bump niggas going crazy. Like, but I 
I have been in them situations in my life where it didn't pan out how right. I thought it was. I but get that, I'm baby. not going. Lebron, no. Nah, I get that. No, Lebron. I'm not about to be like. I'm not about to disrespect her. Right. I'm not about to be like, oh well, fuck it then, or you mm-hmm. know. But this is where the disrespect starts. It starts with her not respecting herself. She tried to get a free we trip. We said that. We said that already. And then that's it. That's why we if know they're both wrong. That, right, but if she does that, he don't have to be wrong. But he didn't have to offer and pay up front knowing that they didn't have this, you know. That's true, that's, that's, It's him. That's it's still true. him. Hey, They're both dream, wrong. Man, I need my dream. There's no guarantee. If you don't get my dream, I, now I got to take your dream away with you did. <laughs> oh, I got to take your dream away now. So if that dream. was, it, had that been you, single Leron in that situation, would you have canceled all no, her shows? I wouldn't have took her. No. I'm, you have no, to, you're there now. You're, at, you're, you're there. there. So I'm already sucked it out. I already sold out. Yes, you've already tricked the trip. Tricked it out. You're there. She says, "Up, oh, I want to get to know you a little better." Yeah, the, our, the nonverbal agreement that we had when we got here was what? <laughs> what, the, what was the agreement that, that we it had? Was going down. Down. That it was going down. You reneged on yours. Now I'm about to renege on mine. Now you gotta find a way out. Yeah, you got it. it. And then she come to me and be like, "You know what? I'm sorry." Like. I, I that takes a lot. Like, nah, that she, takes a lot. It don't. It don't take it when you need a way home. <laughs> <laughs> if you need a way home, it don't hey, take a lot. He said. Wrong. He said it looked like she was going through her whole phone. Yes, yeah, trying to call everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are cracking up. That is so wrong. Uh, no, but you know what though? It is blame on both sides. It's both. They're both wrong. Young ladies, don't try to finesse a nigga That's out of the right. trip. Are you getting finessed out of here? Fellas, don't. Expect or assume that it's gonna it's go gonna down happen. just because she said just because you buy a whatever she said. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm listen. I have never traveled outside of the city I lived in with anyone of the opposite sex that I hadn't already hit. I'm not. Hey, nice to meet you. Let's take a getaway. Like what? Like I don't even know you yet. Like I have to know who you are. I'm not gonna be like, man. You know what? We was vibing a little bit. She might, she might give it up a little if I take her. What? But that's what these new dudes be thing. doing now. Like they really be. I see it all the time. Like huh, first date restaurant. I'm flying out. It's like what? Like, <laughs> why are y'all doing this? It's messing up our, like I said, the ecosystem of our relationships. <laughs> this is why there's not a lot of happy. So, no, for real. Because I, I think that what social media has made it possible for us to do. And I think we make me and you may have talked about this privately before is it's allowed people to come across people we we weren't supposed to ever even come across be able to, we were never supposed to meet some of the people we allow into our right. circles and our lives because of social media so when these people come and you wonder why they fucking your life up or your energy's not mixed. Because <laughs> you wasn't supposed to You wasn't meet. ever supposed to meet this motherfucker. <laughs> like this, that's what, at least when we were younger, we, before internet, Yeah, we knew that these people were destined to be because they were in our circumference. They were around us. They were in our neighborhoods. They were on our schedules. So you in our past. Her? Yeah. Nah. Right. I wasn't supposed <laughs> to. Like, like, nah. I knew I wasn't supposed to meet her and I... Like we don't have the same core values or none of that shit. Like she's accepting a trip with, from a stranger. Like Man. you're not supposed to meet this person. Like I ain't flying nobody nowhere, dog. But I but again, know. that's another part of what social media has allowed us to do is meet people in other places, places. where that fly true. out is not really that that's crazy. True. It's like Uber that's in true. from here to LA. Like three hundred dollars to get to LA. Yeah. You we on, now like, develop yeah, this online relationship that is. feels so strong that now I want to see you. Right. So, I used to tell people before I got married, before I got married, <laughs> that they spend more time on the internet with me than they do with they man. So by default, I'm me, man. By default. You spend more time with me, conversate with me all day long. I'm good morning you when you wake up. Good morning you before you go to sleep on Twitter, on the timeline, on uh, Facebook, spend, spend whatever it is. Time, all man. day long. You spend eight hours, if that, with your man when you get off work. And that's and that's that's counting that work day. And that's count sleep. So that eight hour of whatever else you got going on. So you was telling him I'm your, I, by default. By default. <laughs> I'm spending more time with you than you do with your, uh, with your yes. man. All day long. 
That's the and that's the, that's the connections people build it, it, day in and day out where it's easy to be like, yeah, I'll fly you out. Come on out here to wherever for $150. You want to get on Spirit. Have y'all like, ever for, have y'all ever did long distance? Long, what you of mean? Of course. Okay. Describe long distance. Okay. Have y'all ever, <laughs> have y'all ever done, okay, there's two long distance. Have you ever done long distance where y'all was in the same place and somebody went somewhere and y'all tried to make it work long distance? Have you ever done, I met this person and they lived in this place and we've never really been living in the same oh, area. Y- y'all have done both? Not both. I've done, uh, we never met. We never met. You? Well, she not, she but then the long distance. I'm trying, no, no, I'm, trying, I'm trying to figure out, have I ever had a relationship with someone, They, I met them somewhere else and then we were like a serious relationship? I don't think I've ever. Long distance ain't no I'm, joke. Yeah. It's hard to be. Yeah, I have. So I think I've done both. Yeah. How'd it go? You prefer it? Long distance? No. I'm I, like I told you, I'm a person that loves attention, not like well, I, I need your presence. So but second time she said, I need attention. I do. I, I that's like, the, no, because no, because no, because no, people automatically assume like I am like a person. I need you to be up under me. No, when I say attention, I'm talking about people are always like I like from other people. Like I like attention from other oh, other men okay, from okay, besides. Okay, okay, That's okay. not what I'm talking about. I like attention from the yeah. man that I'm with. That's why I said the first time, like if you're my man, I, I have nothing but vision for you. I can't no see. Vision, I I can't see peripheral. If I'm in love with you, I don't give a damn who's in the room. That's That's, it's just me and you. And if I want the compliment, even though I get all these compliments from everybody else, all I wanted is from you. you. So that's what means something to me. So everybody else is more so like they just, I feel like they just saying it because they trying to probably whatever. So I'm not saying that they don't, that it's not true to them. I'm just saying, I'm just, you know. So, So when I say I like attention, I want, your the, man's attention. My man's attention. Yeah, so the long distance ain't really ideal for you. <laughs> Honey, I've- So I, how did he get you? Which one? Well, uh, whoever. How did they shoot the shot? They got you in your feelings somehow where you were- Communication just by talking. Talking. So that's the, and that's the key to any relationship right, right. is communication. So you talk to somebody long enough and, and you're going to fall. And that's yeah. actually what long distance does. Cause all you have, have is just is communication. communication. Yeah. So, and then, so you spending all this time talking to this person. Cause that's what one of my, lo- my love language is time. Mm-hmm. I love time. So that's why attention is important because I like your time. I don't give a damn what else, what you have. Just give me your time. Just give me that. Because that's something, and people don't understand the, the importance of time because yeah. that's something you can never get back. You know? Nice. So whatever. Very true. So the point of the matter is me talking to this man, you know, my like my had to be overseas. And mm. a lot of times I had to be here and he was overseas. So that key was and at the time when it was happening, FaceTime wasn't even prevalent. Wasn't. You couldn't even see nobody yeah. on the computer, none of that. Yeah. So that phone, Tango, none of that. Like well that. Skype came later. So and then Skype happened. But then I start going over there with him. But but at first it was that vessel. All we can do all is, we can do is communicate. So like jail. When you get, get I done that too. A, from a dude from the inside, like writing all the letters. Yeah, how, long I've done that too. how long you hold it down for for two? Oh shoot. How long was it? Yeah, I've held it down and selling it the whole time. Better than me. Yeah. The whole time. You know because what? like I said, I once know. once I once I love you. It's it. it. I it's love a wrap. my wife, but if she ever go to prison, <laughs> <laughs> and again, that's something y'all have to communicate. Like, listen, if you go to jail, I'm telling you right I'm now, I'm not holding it down. I think she knows. Well, I'm just saying, even because it works both ways. Like, how would you expect for her to hold you down? I would oh, never I would hold it. And some, some, and that's the whole thing. Some men, I wouldn't even expect it. So some men don't. If I went to jail. Some men don't, but there are some men that will sit here and be like. Or are you going to rapping with me? Like I don't, and I don't say I wouldn't expect it be, because of who my wife is. I actually, because of who she is, I would expect it because I know. Hold the type of woman but she I is. would hold her. Mm-hmm, to it. No, no, no. no. Yeah. So as I got locked up, I'd be like, look, man, if, if our kid is good, 
Now that would probably be my only thing. And it also depends on how much time you're like, giving. Who is, like if you sit here talking about six months and she can't handle six months, then that's a. Oh well, yeah, she can't do six months then. Or a year, come on. We like, got a problem. I can't do five. six months or a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you don't watch porn. He'll go to the strip club. Is crazy. So you want, you know. Okay, this nigga is crazy. <laughs> she probably in there getting banged out. <laughs> that's not true. Uh, I tell you, she ain't selling it. <laughs> you think she want to sit there and. But, Perhaps, well, I, I don't think know. she don't want to. I don't I think she don't want this, to. This, this, Whether women. she enjoy it or not, wait, it's still man, sex. Wait, 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 oh wait, God, wait. Six months? <laughs> six months. What? Six months? What six she months? gets sentenced to six months. Can you, imagine, can how months? long has this COVID shit been going on? Six months. How, months. It's been the longest six fucking it's months. Been a can long you imagine time. not doing nothing for that long? I mean, I'm confused. Wait, wait, huh? What we, what's the, huh? Repeat this again. He said that that's too long. <laughs> Don't you live with your wife? Yeah. I'm saying. And you've been. You've no, been, no, no. What I'm saying is that the from the span of when COVID started up to now. Uh-huh. Just thinking been, about that time. Just that time frame. That's a long time. If I'm sitting here thinking about not doing anything, even in that time frame, that's a long time. From March till now. Yeah. Yeah, man. I don't know if I'm going. Okay, no, okay. six months. Six months no. What you gonna tell her in the letter? Like shit. Whatever she did for and only got six months for it, she should have bossed it up and got <laughs> more time. Whatever you did was petty. You shouldn't even been doing this shit if you only got six months for it. If you only got six months for doing oh, if you only yeah. got six months, you should not have been out there doing what you were doing. Oh shit. You well, should have. I can handle long distance. They, whether it's jail time or whether it's do I prefer it? No, because I but prefer, you would, you but I would do it. Yes. Niggas be selling the biggest dreams from jail, though. Oh, they will. That's why I brought it. Like, that sounds crazy. Man, jail be like stuff. The stuff I be hearing, and then and then when you I ever see women up, they be like, ever oh. see the women that, that they be promising this stuff to? Do y'all watch Love After Lockup? I Life have watched that. That is my. I've never. I have watched it. Before. Never heard of Lockup. I watched it. Now that you have on demand or dreams, whatever, bro. They be some big dreams in there. Or was that on like TLC? Yes. Lifetime TLC. Like, like, no, it's a week. It's a week. week? One of them. Wait, I think it's we. We TV. I'm a need. And they just sit there and just tell the girls and then what the girls be looking like. Women be looking like. But they, but they follow them. It's like they follow them and then when they get out, a lot of times they, they follow the story. They, like they, yep. It, it don't never happen. How they say? Uh, no, there's some people that's still together. But it be certain cats that told four, four women yes, the same thing. The same thing. <laughs> like, I'm gonna need you to watch it. Look, I'll watch that. If I was doing, if I was doing a bid, right? Like prior to being married, and I had access to multiple women, I would tell all of them the same exact thing. I would tell them whatever it took to get some drawers, but that's some what they food, do. They have those pen pals. They meet online. Yeah, that's, what, that's, what, that's what you do. That's what they do. But I never understood, like especially for women, because that's what you would usually see. It's all of these free niggas running around. Why would you Hold give on. all your energy to a nigga that is locked? For like a long period of time, it it's mad niggas around. Like well, you guys, just, <laughs> she looked like Holly Berry to him at that moment. But she the niggas on the outside see her for who she is, Shallow House style. They see her. what's her name? I love Shallow from Shallow House. I don't know what the girl's name was, Shallow. but they see her. Like they got eyes, so that's why they get she got she getting that attention from him because everything. You know what though? You got to be in a bad spot to really embrace that type of attention like you're not getting it from nowhere else out here that that this nigga that's doing seven is giving you everything that you need like that's a bad you really need to step out and and get some type of love self love you know what I mean? love yourself that's really what it is men and women like when you are actively looking for somebody else to validate that and be that for you and hype you up and all of that it's because you can't do it for yourself because there's no way i'm wasting time like i'm free and I'm just waiting on you to call at certain times, and all, I got a rush on. Well, you don't have to rush no more. You have that cell phone. I was gonna say yeah, now, nah, but hell, no, nah, I ain't doing that. So, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if it's. I mean, I guess it'd be some dudes that yeah. fall in love with the women that's they locked do. up too. So, ladies and gentlemen, it can't be. It oh, is. it is. Wait till you watch Love After Lockup. Love Life yourself. After lo- Lockup. Love Life yourself. Lockup. Love yourself enough to allow someone free to court you. Don't. <laughs> Don't. That's where the bars. <laughs> like, yo, if you got to wait for a nigga locked up to court you, 
that means that you are moving all wrong out here. If so. what he just said touched you in any way, you <laughs> need to reevaluate your people. life. No, it ain't that they bad. They just they in really jail. Know. Maybe she know that's where he at. She know where he gonna be at. <laughs> so it's like, I ain't gotta worry about it. Where he at? I ain't gotta he worry about it. He's yeah, it ain't. Cause look, what, what is he doing? Look, old girl that plays in the, Maya Moore mm -hmm. in the WNBA. She is working on that project where she's freeing prisoners and all of that. Mm -hmm. And she just married mm -hmm. the dude that she just got out. Mm -hmm. He was locked up on some bogus shit mm -hmm. and he got set free and they that got sound married. like some sh like they was already like I mean she probably fell in love with dude in the During again the process. because all you have is time. Time. This nigga is on that phone giving his best and those letters. You don't get you know what what I'm, like, like, I'm giving my Shakespearean in here. Like, man, look, I'm like, I'm yeah. trying to tell you what they did was wrong. They, I, you know, that's what that is. So she probably in. I get this out, man. To be or not to be. Yeah, like that's, that's the same thing with Sheree. Sheree, when she was a housewife in Atlanta, Sheree. Um, she had to. She, she did too. But her last run and um, when she was still on Atlanta Housewives. The dude, last time she was dating, mm -hmm. was incarcerated. Ain't no way. But a lot of nine times out of ten, you already know the person before they went to jail. Nine times. Well, that, now, that see, was my situation. If you know somebody, not, if you yeah. know somebody before, that's one yeah. thing. But like actually pen piling pen into a stranger. In but some, jail, you know, I know I a couple can't. of people that has done it because they just lonely. 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 Sometimes mm -hmm. we don't be that lonely. Sometimes we all just don't lonely. do it together. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Don't be that lonely. <laughs> I promise you, it's a nigga on free. That will talk to you. I promise. That sounds great. Um, but nah, man, that's that's actually I'm looking at everything we had on the list. I don't really have too much more. We talked about the fashion over for kids. No, we didn't. Well, no, I mean we oh. were supposed to talk oh. about it. We we exchanged the videos and the pictures yes. and the thing. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on it, but there's something to be said for dressing a child up in the image of a grown woman. A grown person, period. Even man, women that dress their sons up that look like fucking Scammers. rappers. And yeah, like, why do you? Yeah, man. And you worried about pedophilia. How you call it? Not pedophilia. Right? Pedophilia. Yeah, that's the word. Mm -hmm. so. I, I just don't. I just never understood it. I don't want my son to look any more grown mm -hmm. than, what, than eight years old. I've like, never rushed the time. I'm not about to throw no Gucci glasses on this nigga yeah. and have him with his T-shirt tucked into his belt. So his belt buckle can show. I'd be looking at kids. I'd be like, why are y'all dressing our kids like that? Mm -hmm. So they can get in the free before uh, 1130 lunch line. That's good. <laughs> they get in the free before 1130 uh, lunch Yo, line. I can't for the life of me understand why. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I want my son to stay young a child. As for as long as, as possible. possible. I don't want my to grow nephew, it, it, you seen pictures of my nephew? Oh, he swagged out though. Too, too. He swagged. No, 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 that's too. He drips. <laughs> Your crazy. nephew, I be seeing it. But it's like it looks crazy <laughs> when I see him like this. I'm like, fam, like this thing is, <laughs> he should not be dressed like this. Because I be seeing, like, I see one, it was like a little debate going back and forth talking about how some uh, mothers be calling their son, uh, was it sexy? Like, just playfully, like, ooh, he a killer. He going to be this and that. And it's like, why are y'all rushing for your son to be? And then there's these situations where, and I think how you dress them, like that image mm -hmm. of having them dressed as a grown person, mm -hmm. all that, it all ties into, like, this is my friend and not my child. You ever seen, like, oh. those relationships yeah. where you you can't I've let your them. child go because that's your it's really I tell my kids daily, my two and one, one two and one, one year old that even them, they, I'm not your fucking friend. Mm -hmm. On any, on any level, am I your friend? Never. And I be having to need sometimes tell my wife like, no. <clears throat> I be telling them like, she's not your friend either. Right. If I hear you talking to her like she your friend, we gonna have an issue. Right. Mm -hmm. Like we just not on that level. There to has to be a time, right? Tell, and there has to be a time. And I tell, I tell my seven year old now, like I'm not your friend right now. I'm just not. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to be your friend. Not never. I tell you, I'm not your friend. When you get to an age where you can understand the responsibility of our mm -hmm. relationship and the way that you talk to me and I talk to you and the way that you understand mm -hmm. what this structure actually is, then it can be different. That's when I'm your friend. Mm -hmm. When you can respect that boundary. But until then, I'm not your friend. Don't talk to me like your friend. You don't pay nothing to this house. You don't bring, I tell them, you don't bring no value to my life at this age. 
There's nothing <laughs> that, tangibly. Don't say that part. Tangibly, that doesn't sound, no. Tangibly, there's nothing they do for me. That's don't say you that. Talk to his kids. Don't say that. Tangibly, they, there's nothing they, they do, do for me. They do bring value. Yes, they do. Tangibly. They bring that. There's no that tangible value to that me. you've never received from a child ever. Don't no, ever say that. No, they fix it. It's not unconditional. Just don't, don't tell them that. Please. I got to let them know. I got to let these, my kids know these things now. So when they get out in the world, it's like. They understand. They understand. My dad told me this. So I know you don't give a fuck. <laughs> my dad told me this. I know you don't care. They're, so I got to let them. Oh, there got to be some type of humbling. Because the way my wife got to humble your kids. Because the way my wife treat them. So you kind of offset. So I have to offset it. it balance. Where there's a balance. Balance. I have to balance. Don't I get that. Bring them value. But they don't. That's oh, funny. I cannot take you. That's funny. They don't bring value. That's funny. They don't. They, they don't bring do. tangible value. They're not paying bills. They're not, they're not doing I mean, nothing but <laughs> costing me. They don't do shit but cost me. That's all they do. You gotta still clean up that's, bathroom. And that's it. Like, clean. they don't bring nothing to the table. Like, they just don't. But you knew this before you had it. I understand that. But what I'm saying is that they need to understand that they value what they value is. Because if they don't understand it, they go out in the world and they be entitled. Now they confused they, about what they worth. They worth it. Yeah. I get it. So, to a certain, I wouldn't exactly tell my son that he brings no value to my but life. My kid, my, my kid, I, they, they should know I play a lot. It's a joke. Yeah, it's a joke. Like still- I'm not joking, but in their mind, they think, <laughs> in their mind, they're like, he, play, he, he always <laughs> saying shit. Something crazy. That's what he be saying. <laughs> he just joking, but I don't be playing. Hey, I'm y'all, don't it. tell your kids that they don't bring no value to your life. <laughs> don't. Tangible say. value. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, tangible. You yeah. think because you're saying tangible. It that makes that a difference. You know what I'm oh, it's a mm-hmm. big difference mm-hmm. from telling somebody they have no value. They don't even understand what tangible means. <laughs> oh, they right. know when right. I tell them. But right. You don't pay bills. You don't okay. clean up after yourself. <laughs> okay. You can barely talk. Okay. They right. know all of these things. They don't do anything for me. <laughs> like when I see them coming in from work or, or when I clock out, oh, kids. <laughs> You just made my day better. That never happened. But you know what though? He's he's very he's very consistent with this. And I actually agree on a lot of levels because he was like, there's a lot of people that outwardly give this impression that being a parent is by far the greatest, the greatest thing. and it's the best not. thing. But they don't ever talk about when it's like, man, I was gonna fucking fuck up today. Yeah, like, like fuck this. Like man. I had to, I had to sit in the corner and collect myself right. before I almost... They, everybody want to be, I do this mom shit, or I do this dad <laughs> shit. Like, I don't want to do this shit sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. I, I'm nobody. But, but the way that the right. social media right. puts it out, people but are that's the greatest why, parents, uh, and this is what they live for. Like, no, But that's why I said earlier with the whole relationship aspect, it's the same thing as parents. Like, we <laughs> need to share stories yeah. Uh, it's okay to say these kids. It's okay to say fuck these kids sometimes, because sometimes it's fuck these kids. Listen, man. They you know how many times it's fuck you when they walk <laughs> off when they got when they got these kids. I mean, fuck this nigga. Like I hate this nigga. He always talks hey, shit. And my son at that age right now, where he be talking under his breath as he walk away. No, no, oh no, no, no. Like, oh, what? You're, what you what? just said, we all experienced this. My daughter, they're actually Mason her the same age. Mm-hmm. She's doing the same thing, talking under her breath when she's walking out. So I had to check it. Like, if I hear you say <laughs> anything else out of your breath when you're walking off, <laughs> it's over. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Like, it's there's a wrap. no talking back. You that, That's what I mean by the value shit. They walk around in life thinking that I owe them. Look, if he, if he don't get his way right now, his thing being like, my son is on some... He's very advanced when it comes to how he basically. speaks and what he <laughs> says. So it don't just be like a mumble. He'll do something like, I'll be like, I, that's what it is. All right. You can go upstairs. You can do whatever you want. And he'll walk and then he'll go, well, I guess that's fine. It doesn't matter to me because I. Nigga, right. what? Bring, no, 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 no. Bring your ass back. Yeah. Hey, no, no, no. Yeah. Come here. What did yeah. you just say? Yeah, well, I just figured because you said no, then you obviously don't care. Like, this is how he talks. Because he, I don't, I don't know where he got it from. Like, I know moms is smart. I'm semi smart, but he has this vocabulary, and he says things where it's like, man, I would chop you in your throat if you wasn't my child. And like, that's the more said, reason to chop him in his throat. But look though, because he I, is your child. But I told him though, I'm telling you this in the house, so you don't go out I'm- the house. And somebody. So this is what I'll be. That's, that's the exact thing I tell. I tell. We tell. Actually. It's me that tells her, but she, when she feels like supporting me, she'll <laughs> say, yeah, you heard what he said. But everything that I tell you, 
You can be fucking mad about it if you want. I'm not telling you not to express your emotions. What I'm telling you is, is there's a reason for this rule right now. You can't do this here and then go out into the world and think that whatever the situation is, that it's okay for right. you to do that. I need to stop that shit right now, here. Now, I'm not telling you, I tell her, you can, you're allowed to express your emotions. Right. And, like how you feel it. But you're not about to you, you have to argue be with me for your actions. Yeah, but you're not about to argue with me about what the fuck I said. Now you can be <laughs> mad about it. I don't want to hear how mad you are about it. You keep that shit inside. You bury that shit deep. That's what I have to do. That's right. right. That's, that's what you yeah, You know, you already know how. And I think it's that generational gap. Mm -hmm. Like we, it was zero tolerance. Right. Like you wasn't getting none of that off. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> or you get something thrown at you, Man. or you get the brush right beat off of you. My right mom away. had that. And when you seen that, you knew that that was the rest of the day. Rest of the day, like you think, damn, I'm gonna get my ass up now. Now you gotta worry about that. Now I might say, I ain't high, bad and shit. They really did give us anxiety, but we didn't. We didn't know what anxiety is. We just thought it was just fear. My mom used to be like, well, it is what it is, I guess. But you have to talk to your father. And this nigga don't get off for six hours. And you worry. I'm at the crib. I'm like, oh, he about to whoop my ass when he get home. And we have, but you need that. They need to fear something. Mm -hmm. Like I see all of this new progressive parenting where they're not supposed to fear you and you're Shit. not supposed. No, I your kids need to know that there's some type of time about that. And like I don't give a fuck if they right now in this age. They at this age, I'm my goal is to put fear in them. I don't give a fuck what it is. The, from now, the one year old to the seven year old, one, two, and seven, they need to fear. And when they, and my, when my wife said, "I'm about to go tell your dad," shit shut down. Now I will tell you that works now, but that I do that now, right, so right. I don't so have, don't to, have to, to be that. that. But you don't later. But you'll come to a point where teenage years, you will have to pull back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because fear won't. It works. Right. But, and that's what I it works now. That's why I do it like now. That. So I don't have so when they're a little bit older, I don't have to instill that fear in them. They'll just know. There's already a structure there where they know, nah, my dad ain't fucking around with that. He don't play with that. Like curfew, I gotta be here. Right. I know. There's for consequences sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. for what I'm about to do. I, got you. I can't have them walking around now like like when my wife tell my when I tell my son he's only one like in eighteen months when I tell his ass to sit on that couch and don't fucking move he be looking like damn he's serious and then when I walk out like my wife not going to have my back and say you heard what your dad said <laughs> she she do it now but she wasn't like that because she just treat him different so but he would get up but then when I walk in the house that nigga awesome run right to that. And she's like, he don't know what you're saying. No, he do know he what know. I'm saying. He can ask his feeling. Mm -hmm. He know. He know. ran to the couch. He don't know two. He ain't got two words to rub together. But he but when, know. When I walk back in the house, I seen and heard his little ass trying, he like know. a little Chucky doll, yep. run around the, the couch, the couch to climb on the. I was like, no, it's too late. I already seen it. Now I got to Now you got to Look, what I will say, y'all, is that as parents, and if there's any parents out here we watching, can do a whole episode about oh, parents. for sure. If y'all looking on, man, like talk to your friends, talk to the people closest to you that got kids, like share experiences, share. because a lot of it just be we don't know. If I knew that another person could relate to what I had going on, I might feel better about how I'm maneuvering. Or you might be able to give me advice. Like right. my son is eight. Like you have teenage, like you may be able to tell me like, look, this is what's coming. Mm -hmm. So you need to prep mm -hmm. for this. You know what I mean? So. We have to do a better job at sharing that information so we community. can. Yeah, community is it. When we were younger, it that's was a literal right. community, that's right? Community. Lady up the street. The that's that's right. Right. Yeah. We don't really have that no more because it's like, oh, you better not say nothing to my kid. Mm -hmm. Don't touch my kid. Like, nah, we need to do a little better at. I, yeah, I tell my wife, uh, like, even with her mom won't do it, but like, my mom, like, I had to tell my wife, like, look, if my kids is over. Yo, over my mom's, she's going to fuck them up. <laughs> and you can be mad about it if you want, because you you want to do this. Nobody want to touch. Nobody's touching my kids, but my their their parents. Like, no, 
my mom will fuck your kids up. I'm telling you that right now. So as much as my kids love to be, can I go over to you, mom? I'm like, I don't have no problem with y'all going over there. But if you go over there and you do what you did, you already know what time it is. Beat your ass. It's happening. Her mom's not doing that. Yeah. It's, it ain't even time out or nothing. It's like trying to talk them through some shit, which yeah, don't work. Look disgusted, yeah, saying yeah, like, he was like, yeah, it don't work. <laughs> like, how do you? Like, it just don't work, and especially not my kids. Like, my babies, like the two and the one year old that me and her had together. I'm my they like me. You gotta fuck them up. Like, you have to. There's no getting around it. Like, cause they will walk over you. They will, especially <laughs> my son. He don't give a fuck about nothing. <laughs> You have to. And I'll be telling her, like, my mom, my mom will fuck them up. If you take them over and drop them off, don't call me. And Talk. be like, oh, your mom did this. Yeah, don't, no. But you know what, though? I'm, I think my wife and I are the same way with that. Like, when he's with her, her mom, whatever happens over there, I trust her enough to know that she ain't going to harm my child, but he got to get this work if it's applicable. What is harm, though? I mean, you, I, it depends. Like, there's, there's, okay. If he act out and she got to do whatever she got to do. And I ain't even saying physically. Like, my, my son is like, he don't even like to be talked too crazy. Like, she says something out of pocket to him. And he like, I didn't like how my abuela talked to me. He came, he just, he came back like, abuela said some things. <laughs> I didn't like it. And I'm like, well, what did you do? <laughs> well, I did do da, 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 da. All right. That's what it is. When he go over my mom and dad's house, it's the same way. My mom is more laid back, but my pops is like, fam. Oh, it's good. I will I'm not, you up. I'm not dealing with no because like my son is one of those where a half truth will pop out of his mouth quickly. <laughs> hey, did you he'd be like, uh, I, well, I, yeah. <laughs> my dad be like, my dad called me like, hey, you better get your son in order, because this nigga's lying. He's out here telling lies. <laughs> He's like, oh, well, no, Papa asked me, and I didn't know. No, whatever happened that weekend there, between I'm trusting y'all to handle that. Like, I'm not, now, if I don't trust you with my kid, right. my, you will have, have my kid. Right, so that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. why I said by harm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if they were my mom, she's going to fuck them up. I don't give a fuck how they come back to me. Because my mom, actually, she used to fuck us up like that. But as far as, like, her grandkids, she don't go like yeah. that. She don't do it. It's easier on the grandkids than oh, us. way easier. They get it's away. They mouths, they... So I it's trust easy. that if she fucked them up, it there was, was a horrible. reason that she fucked them up. I don't care if she come back, they come back with welts on their leg, <laughs> a busted lip, a nose bleeding, dried up blood. They probably deserve this shit. Hey man, we need to share more so we can parent our kids better. Um, I think it's a lot we can learn from each other, but what ended, man? I don't really have anything else. Do y'all have anything else y'all want to talk about? Um, LeBron's gonna watch P Valley. Mm -hmm. No, he's not. Yeah. Bro. I don't see Just to get your we'll, perspective. We'll make sure that we'll yes. go in the group chat. Yes. We'll like, what's up? Him. We'll make him do it. You got to, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Just an episode. Or two. If you watched Empire, you can watch P Valley. I didn't get through Empire either. Okay, well, we just asked you to win. I didn't either. I'm not, I have not I finished. finished. I don't even know. I don't know if it was the third season or the second season when, when I stopped. Uh, when um, the white woman killed. Uh, the uh, the white woman, the white woman, the wife, the, the, the wife of uh, Andre. Andre. Oh, like, I that's threw somebody off the bridge, yeah, threw her off the like grill, and I'm like, okay, that's yeah. about when I finished. That's, that's probably, I think, I think that's when I finished too. So, that's when I stopped. Maybe we should, and it was hard like getting to that point. It yeah. was hard. Only reason why I was, I kept doing it because I was doing the uh, radio, oh, the radio. Okay. I was doing the recaps on the radio, but then after that, I just lost track. So, but nah, man, if once y'all see this, because I really want to get active on the social media pages, Instagram, Facebook, so we can get feedback, a lot of stuff that we talk about. So y'all can maybe drop some comments on what y'all watching, what y'all got going on, any topics that y'all may want us to touch on, you know, in the coming weeks, because outside of current events, there's a lot of stuff that we can talk about. A lot of different things, a lot of, a lot of different topics. We can so. do like topics, topical shows. Oh, too. for sure. I mean, you know, we used to, you know, instead of the, uh, instead like, of just current events, yeah, we would get you know, right into like we could I actually I get some experts in here to talk about stuff. Certain too. things. I think that would be a good idea, especially in this day and age where information and, for, and you don't want to just be saying the wrong thing. You want to get some people that know what they're talking about on the topic, and maybe we can get some people like that in, but. Um, I appreciate y'all, obviously, you. sitting at the table. Appreciate everybody that's rocking with us and watching. And 
I don't even know. I don't know. We'll we'll talk about it audio wise. I don't know if I'm how I'm feeling about putting it out as a podcast on Apple and all of that stuff. I don't know if we might hurt the trade just to put numbers. Yeah, just to get numbers. We'll see. But either way, we appreciate y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me. We appreciate y'all for watching. Um, we'll have some stuff coming up in the coming weeks, and really hoping by the time the new year rolling around that we are really doing some things. Really doing some things. Um, we gonna stay consistent this time around. Well, you know, it's been a it's been a transition. You know, yeah. different hosts and different you know COVID and it's been crazy. But I definitely moving forward. You know, y'all gonna get this content. Y'all gonna get this work every <laughs> week. So we appreciate y'all watching, listening, all that good stuff. It's the green room with Ron, that's Nicole, and we are out of here. Fuck them kids. <laughs>